Hello, nobody. Welcome <laughs> to Root episode. Five. Hello, Stream Elements Bot. Hello, <laughs> and hello, Bob. Hello, Stream Elements Bot. Hello, Russian Bot. Hello, other Russian Bot. <laughs> FBI, how you doing? Yeah. It's in a probably VK. Case, probably VK. Case yeah, we're probably spider in a site right now. So, I mean, at this point, why don't we? We can just have like our Friday session. Right, right. right. Well, that's that's abomination balls. Though. That is abomination. This oh, week, that's you true. Make a character. I'm working on it. Yeah, make a character in all of our campaigns. Except, Not L5R. except for L5R. Yeah. You'll need to make a character there soon. For, so we only have two that I'm in, right? I'm not in Traveler. So I'm only in Fabula Ultima right. and Abomination. Yeah, those Technically, are you're not officially welcome to a Fabula Ultima. That's true. I haven't you, been. You, you, this could be a Friday I can do chores. It's true. <laughs> um, well, there's some people. You love your chores. So. Hey, we got a couple folks in there. Welcome, everybody. Uh, back to here to episode five of Root, a game of woodland adventure. And we, terrorism. And it turns out, yeah, adventure. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> quote unquote um depend it's a very loose term yeah yeah, yeah. these days um, uh, adventure to the world trade center it's rpg uh, terrorism i make place. things go boom uh, <laughs> David, I don't know how get the plague managed, doctor over here dirt manages to sound so like 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 utterly like i'm going to jump off a bridge every mm. yes i'm really excited <laughs> to be here i mean Thanks, guys, for I just for I just watched me. Atlantis the other day, and it's like I make a boom, I made a bridge. That's that's kind of how I feel. That's exactly yeah. the motive I hear yes. from him. <laughs> um, any case, we are right near the end of our uh, planned root game. Of course, uh, we said that it could run the six sessions, plus or minus one. Don't think it's going to end tonight, um, but uh, you never know. Things could go really wild. We roll all over. They dice. even have armor in this. The game? dice fall. Uh, they yes, you guys just never picked any up. Ah, we're definitely ending tonight. <laughs> I have a buckler. I mean, come on. Right. I'm about... Maybe I can steal one. That's about the best I'm going to get. It's not made of paper. It's not a ledger. You don't uh, want it. No. I'm talking about you picking up something like, like a hide armor. An invisible Maybe the cloak. Other side need to protect their oh, investments. Oh yeah, can we get some like invisible, invisible cloaks? cloaks? <laughs> no, no, invisible, invisible cloaks. cloaks. Remember, they're shower curtains. Mm-hmm. They ain't going to help us. They don't have it. Otters don't have invisible armor, folks. I know. We were, oh, we were promised cloaks. They didn't really put uh, they didn't put the armor in the equipment set. Right. No, there was not any that's armor strange. in there. Strange. Guess it's not equipment. Maybe that's why we didn't buy any. No, that's not right. You guys never bought any. That's the primary. I, I bought a great sword and a buckler. No, if you had, I don't like, have a prop for it. I don't. I don't care about it. I don't need you guys. There's plate armor, chainmail, leather armor, robes. Well, we know you 192 got 192 in the in the basic book. Uh, yeah, plate armor has four wear, and armor lets you when you take injury, you can mark wear on your armor. Oh, that's sweet. So it basically gives you four more boxes of injury. That's I know what I'm gonna ask the otter before we go into assault. Um, <laughs> Borrow his armor. <laughs> uh, I'm a little low. Okay. All right. Um, Derek is very low. I'm very low. But how does Bob sound on Derek's mic? Hey yo. I'm gonna turn myself up. <laughs> All right. And it shuts off the whole stream. <laughs> so who are we killing this session? I mean, we don't really, no one. Bird, we don't really kill anyone. It's really one person. No. Okay. Who is Artemis going to blow up? Never Probably actually. I, I have a couple people. I've He's never got physically at least killed one. anyone. Artemis, is there a bomb on the boat? I've only killed two people officially. Which boat? Yeah, your brother and the uh, the cult. Possible, leader. maybe yes. Okay. People have died near me, maybe by things that I've set in motion, but not physically by my hands. I have two people, <laughs> two animals. All right. Sorry, hopefully Pina. that is. Hopefully Sorry. that is better. <laughs> um, where like, was I? Oh yeah. Uh, so, yes. Anyways, uh, this is episode five. Yes. Um, we originally were planning on going for about six episodes, but we'll <sighs> see how it works out. But yeah, we have basically kind of come to a right back where we started. A pivot, right? To a pivotal. Yeah. Um, look for the map shot here. Here we go. We've, mm. come, we've come to a sort of pivotal moment in the history of the Woodland. Now, if you'll remember, all the way back on the very first session, the chat voted to both put the Otters and the Lizard Cult into play. That's right. They weren't Correct. supposed to be in our normal they game. Not, they well, were not supposed to be in our normal game. The idea was game. that maybe, maybe the, the patrons would tip or the, the, the YouTube They were not tip, in session did. zero. They were not um, in session zero. So, yeah, so we had a special session. We added them, and, of course, they've become pretty much instrumental to the entire campaign essentially at this point um the last couple episodes yep absolutely. yeah and so at uh, the group after traveling through sundell demolishing the airy fortress there mm-hmm. they made their way north to patchwood and then le- uh, west into underleaf where last session we saw them uh kind of deal with the ramifications of uh 
some events that happened in Underleaf, um, which uh, involved them trying to uh, kind of convince the denizens to potentially leave with them. And the denizens were torn and wanted to side with the Airy. And then Artemis tried to uh, take out the bridge so that the Airy could not uh, take them out. And the group, battered, beaten, decided to limp off into the woods and spend a few weeks recovering so that they could kind of get back some of their much-needed exhaustion and an injury. It's kind of like hit points in this game. Mm -hmm. Now, the state of the woodland is sort of unknown at this point because it's been a couple of weeks since we saw the heroes last. When they emerged into Patchwood, they discovered, that's right there in the middle there with all the, uh, uh, the vagabond Where the piece. action's at. Bob, why don't you point it out for people? There we go. Yep. Um, and as we got there, what we discovered was that the otters were preparing a massive invasion force. The otters aren't just mer merchants. They are also sometimes mercenaries. And they had been paid by a large contract from the Marquis Sate, who basically in a last-ditch effort to try to get back into the war, paid the otters to launch a sneak attack on Sundell, weakened, as it was, from your attack, the uh, otters tend, intend to sort of uh, betray the airy um, for, for money. However, due to some <laughs> bullshit role-playing. Some debauchery. Right? <laughs> I, I don't know if there's any other type. That, <laughs> that Bob came up with. I type. came up with. Yeah. Uh, You're the one who showed him the worm. The the. I just thought I was blanging out. Flexing. And then you didn't want to steal his money. You wanted something you more to, valuable. Yeah, you gave it to the yeah. other then you I promptly, thought that meant something like information. You're the one you, throwing around eggs and, and stuff. And then you promptly <laughs> rolled a six minus. So It seems like a you thing. Okay. Why do you guys suck, Bob? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, and so, uh, yeah, and so what ended up happening at the end of last episode was that uh, Lucius mm -hmm. discovered that the skipper, the sort of the uh, the most famous leader uh skipper in, magni uh, skipper magni who is the or is it magni 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 okay uh, who is the skipper of the star flow sort of the the uh what do they call that the flagship mm -hmm. flagship yep. of the of the river folk uh of the river company fleet is secretly a devout lizard cult <laughs> worshiper in dun, fact dun, dun. he is uh, he is actually the uh sort of like the ringleader for this entire operation and he basically went to Lucius and said, I know who you are, and this is who I am. And he believed that you, Bob, were a fellow member of the faith of Why the Great not? Worm because you had something that only a cult leader would have, which was the golden medallion Makes total sense with to the me. ruby eyes. Now, did you do the secret basically. handshake, though, and know I the secret it. password? <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> and so this is just going to be a repeat of uh, episode three well we don't know i mean right now vance is trying to get out of his door yeah they barred me they in barred vance because in. i'm assuming they did it to get to you without being interrupted by me because they some know of, I'm some your of his crew is outside i wouldn't right. be on this boat when it left that's all i gotta say yeah I mean, i don't know what artemis is doing nobody well, knows what artemis has been up to that's the, that's the scariest part i yeah. think of this whole thing well at a certain point we do have to ask that uh the tinker actually make moves and roles <laughs> that actually correspond to the stuff that they can do in the game at some point <laughs> yes, whoa yes, yes, yes. i mean come on the campaign's almost over. <laughs> like, why you gotta ruin his vibe now? Root, Root doesn't have rules. I mean, we can. Just, I mean, just an extent. I mean, listen. Time. Also, I think it's balanced, right? At this point, his actions could be a GM move because his explosions usually get us killed at the same time. So. Yeah, that is true. That is very, very true. Um, there could literally just be like the building explodes without even asking him for his input, <laughs> and we'd be like, "Yeah, Artemis at, at this checks point, out." Yeah, it, 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 it just goes with the motif at this point. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, um, so anyway, yeah. so yeah, so the lizard cult is uh, uh, on on the uprise, and so uh, we do have a uh, super chat goal here. Uh, every twenty five dollars that uh, the the uh, chat tips tonight, um, another clearing will get taken out. But I don't expect anybody to tip. So, um, <laughs> correct, unless you're feeling generous. Stream elements bot. <laughs> um, and then just for funsy, we have a massive tip goal. Which will put everyone, mm -hmm. and I mean everyone. Wait, is even that you, Derek? You? Even me into costume. Even with the Derek. Uh, with the hype boss at the end of the stream getting to pick what uh, what animal race I have to buy a costume for. Yep, we you, felt it was safe to do it since there's only nine of you in chat and four of you are George. It could be right. more. There's more now. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> but oh, there oh, are right. 
So to be you, clear, you before, to be clear, before our George, to be clear, this was only this is only something that I put up on there because I expect right. for absolutely no one to be watching <laughs> at this point. Um, yeah, but see, if somebody gets word of it, oh, we could put Derek in a costume. It's gonna start to spread, yeah. and then you might get some people yeah, to tune to the, in. No, like two more people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, ten <laughs> percent more people too. Hey, growth um, is growth, man. Growth is growth. So yeah, so when we last left off, Bob, yes, Skipper Magny, yes, had revealed his golden medallion and that he was a member of the lizard cult, and basically said to you, um, "Let me kind of pick it up, brother, you." Follow the great worm. In your heart, it's true. That gold in the safe, it was a decoy. I knew it. I wanted it to test your, I wanted to test your loyalty. And you and you passed with flying colors. The great worm told me. Wait, he, in my he, thoughts. He, he my passed dream. by taking it? No, he I didn't, didn't take it. it. But it, he doesn't know that, does he? Yeah, he does. How does he He knows about the other vagabond? Oh, okay. Because Bob fell all of his checks. Because Bob failed all of his checks. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> Well, I didn't. I, everyone knows I didn't everything. The skipper knew about the other vagabond. He, he knows not, a lot so more than I, I do. That's fine. I mm-hmm. just, I just wanted to understand that. I thought the cult was all about stealing. Well, no, the cult I was all about giving they... up their worldly possessions for the great worm. No, no, right? that's the members. Oh, all right, yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, the leaders, <laughs> the, leaders are like, the leaders are the collectors. They're mega right. church. Yeah, yeah, remember, yeah, yeah. remember, remember what we said. Um, it's been great in, being a cult. I've been, I've been, I've been in two types. I've been in cults several times. Someone's a follower. Someone's a leader. You make more money as a leader. <laughs> you have more fun as a follower. <laughs> um, Accurate. So true. Um, well, I am a I am a cult leader. All right. Of the Underleaf sect. The revolution. The, re- <laughs> the oh, Underleaf oh. chapter. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those are good people over there. Uh, were. They were. <laughs> they were. Sadly. What happened? They gave their life for the great worm oh. to further our goals. They will be reborn as acolytes. That's actually how the lizard cult actually gets glory. I want to play with them next time that's I play. actually how they in, uh. the, in the board game that's actually how they get uh uh warriors is when their people die you they don't die they become acolytes basically that's so sweet like revenant like ri- risen warriors. hundred percent playing them next um <laughs> I have converted a good portion of the crew including the star flows elite uh otter infantry mm. the paddle company the paddle regiment. The paddlers. <laughs> the paddler. The paddler regiment. The great worm is pleased. We will take Sundell, and after the birds are defeated, our people will reveal themselves, and we will destroy the rest of the river folks' fleet and their mercenaries. Sundell will be ours. I've already received secret word from our forces north in Iron Vein, Fire Hollow. And Wind Gap Refuge will also soon fall to the forces of the Great Worm. I don't see as much as. Hold on, us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see them as much as falling as gaining the Lizard membership. Correct. The more that fall, the more that we will be able to gain strength. Yes. We will show these people the error of their ways. You, you foxes. <laughs> <laughs> You foxes have been instrumental to us being able to infiltrate across We're good. the woodland. We're good people. Good, your, your, good your, your people have been uh, left, left outcast for too long. The lizard, the great worm, will bring them back. Absolutely. All right, Nick. Yes. Um, they, so, barred, they barred me in my room. Yeah, they right? barred you in your room. So I heard that. I'm immediately trying to knock down this door then, basically, because it's just... Don't want to get caged up. Absolutely. Like, right. That's just not good. Uh, so I can't wait. Like... To, I can't wait to come in and I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> just sounds, me and him are alone. <laughs> sounds like you're wrecking something. Yeah, I'm going to crash and smash, as it says. I guess oh, you right. Say. You have a special move. I do right? have a special move. So I can roll. Um, so what is it? When you smash your way through a c- through scenery to reach someone or something. That's roll with might. Literally what it is. That's what it. It's kind of what it's All right, there so for. He's... Tricks down the door. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, let's see, plus three, 12. All right. Oh, well, that is more than a mm-hmm. 10 plus. Mm-hmm. So uh, what do you get when you get 10 plus, Nick? Uh, let's see. I was wondering what you were, what you could be leaving the studio for. Did you order food? <laughs> Look what I found in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> the trash Panda does it again. Trash Panda delivers again. Uh, All right. So, uh, so right. this will be a test because we're not drunk tonight. 
Oh, oh, these are the same wings that right. we got. Uh, Let's see if they're still as good. For Bob's birthday. That was uh, Bob's, birthday. Bob's birthday bash. Right. That was such a good fun time. All right. So on a hit, uh, you reach your target. On a 10 plus, choose one. Seven through nine, choose two. So I can hurt myself, mark injury. You break an important part of your no, surroundings. No, these are all bad. Yeah. So because you, you got a 10 plus. damage or leave behind a piece of gear, GM's choice. And yeah, on a miss, I, yeah. So I have to pick one, basically. Yep. Trying to think, what would be an important part of my surrounding? I knock over the egg, trying to barrel in. Well, the through. egg's not here, as far as I'm aware. Correct. Okay. So he was just, just he told me about the egg is like the egg is real. Like he was like confirming uh, it. Yeah. Right, Which right, I had, right. I had assumed um, that it was real. But you're right now just kicking down the door. Right? That's what I mean. I'm just trying to get out, and I'm trying to think: Does it make sense narratively to break an important part of my surroundings in this? Because there's nothing really important around me. Isn't there a smashing move? This is what That's he's what doing. doing. And I rolled a twelve. So I have to pick one. I either hurt myself, mark an injury, I break an important part of my surroundings, well, which keep in mind, doesn't make nar- sense in this narrative, case. Narrative, in Powered by the Apocalypse, narrative um, importance takes the precedence. So if, like I could just break the door and it's like, that was an important thing no, to me. No, no, no. <laughs> Meaning to do a move, you have to be able to do it. If you can't break something important because there's nothing important so then around, it doesn't apply. then you can't choose it and all it doesn't right, apply. Right. Yeah. Oh, you, you, break can't, you, can't, you can't wreck something and there's like just a door to kick down. Because then you're just doing a mic check at that point, right? No, no, he can definitely he's wreck it. man, dude. Can't he, can't he, can't he wreck his, his uh, shield because he's trying to barrel through? Sure, if he wants. Well, that, that's something on here is you damage or leave behind a piece of gear. That is another that's choice. That's another option. That and I, I'd rather take injury than than anything, then, if that's oh, the case. Oh, Caleb just found our root streams. Hey, Caleb. <laughs> Caleb. Well, okay. Yeah, that's right. We're on up. We're on, We're all the way up to episode five here tonight. Thank you for the uh, $10. The Lizard Cult are $15 away from taking over their first location. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, every $25 that uh, the Lizard Cult gets in Super Chats, is another uh, clearing on the map, yep. which will fall to their wonderful, beautiful le- yellow lizard presence. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'll, I'll take an injury then, and the, because I do have another injury box. So. Okay. All right. So, uh, Nick, what does that look like? So basically, I'm just ramming into it in my shoulder, and then eventually just break it down, fall into the. I'm assuming it's just like a hallway corridor type thing, but sure. it's on a boat. It's right? on a boat. Yeah, it's a pretty so, narrow corridor. Kind of narrow. So knock the door. Goes up the other side. I was anticipating it was going to come completely off, and it didn't, and just kind of hurt my shoulder a little bit, you know? Mm. Oh, as uh, oh. as Vance breaks through, oh. uh, Lizard it up with $15, <laughs> Lizard it up. We've got our first uh, following, which is going to fall to the forces of Iron Vein. Hey, um, Caleb, in chat, let me know, which clearing do you want to have fall to the Lizard Cult? Uh, you know, don't pick like any of our. Yeah, it's not gonna be like Open Sky Haven don't down pick, here. <laughs> yeah, don't pick Open Sky Haven, Oakenhold, because those are our two capitals, and don't pick uh, Sundell because that's where we're headed. <laughs> yeah, maybe something cl- close to the Lizard Cult yeah, themselves. It could be, uh, as they as Wing they take Gap over. Refuge. Mm-hmm. You got Fire Hollow, Underleaf, Patchwood is kind of where we're at. I wouldn't think that would apply as I much. I mean, eh, you never it know. Could, as we leave, well, uh, yeah, it's more of like as the, as we leave and. <laughs> he gave them a lot of gold, and they could all of a sudden turn to the they worm. Were, they had all turned to the great worm. <laughs> what they didn't know is all the gold pieces had, like, the lizard emblem on them. That's, yeah. <laughs> the otter on the top, but you get it wet, and it, like, washes off, and it's and it's um, the worm. So, um, yeah, so you barrel out of the door, break in, and you kind of come stumbling out into the hallway. You see down the hall, you see that uh, Lucius's door is open. Lucius, what the hell's going on? Lucius. Uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I just kind of run in there. It's like they barred my door. What's going on? I'm, I'm eating an apple. As you uh, turn, so so the skipper's oh, already you, gone. Are, is the skipper gone? That's up to you, Bob. Mm, well, if if my door was open, yeah. right? Because he had his guard sit outside. Uh, yes, you're right. So uh, my guess is was he closed the door behind him, and so if it's open, he he has left. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you, so he left. No, he left. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So he left. You finally got out. And I don't know what you're all in a tizzy about. Oh, so they locked me in my door. What the hell's going on? Did they lock you in your door? What Your door's wide open. What happened? Yeah, I, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. My door's fine. You don't see any otter forces in the hallway. So it's completely empty. That They barred me enough just in time to and to do the conversation. You keep and, saying barred you. I, it sounds like your door might just have like a, a lock. And you maybe need a little WD-40. I don't know, man. I heard some clunk, clunk, and uh, and then there's some extra bars across it. I don't remember there. When being I'm alone there, in my room, it, it I, I make some weird noises. <laughs> Not like these kind of <laughs> weird noises, man. 
All right. So, uh, do you, do you trust everything Bob's telling you? That's a good question. Are you trying to figure? Are you me trying out? to figure him out? I, I would say so. All, All right. right. So I think I think that's a good point. I'd have to figure out because it's, it doesn't seem logical that you're making these weird noises, but yet there are actually like two bars like on my door. Roll with charm. Oh, I got a plus one to my charm, buddy. How charming are you? I mean, I'm very charming. Ooh. I don't know. Is an <laughs> eleven charming enough? Wow, you get to hold three oh. and ask up to three questions <laughs> oh, from man. your hold. figure someone out. Oh, one of them is no, I think, tell that. the that truth. You get to ask three questions. <laughs> okay. Do you have your cheat sheet, Nick? Is it one of them? Like, yeah, one of them's uh, is your character telling the truth? <laughs> so you want, you're figuring someone out. All right. So let's see, yeah, is your character telling the truth? What is your character really feeling? What does your character intend to do? What does oh. your character wish I'd do? How could I get your character to blank? All right, so you get to ask, him ask three of these. Yeah, uh, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, is your character telling the Bob's truth? Bob's about to get killed. Hundred percent. No. <laughs> what is your character really feeling? Mm. Uh, I think we all want to know. Uh, actually, I feel like my character feels very, um, very giddy. Um, oh, okay. Oh, fire hollow falls to the lizards. Yeah, yeah, sure. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! The lizards are here in Fire Hollow. <laughs> Quick, everybody evacuate! <laughs> <laughs> the lizards have arisen! <laughs> Flee, mortals, for the lizard god will destroy you all. The great worm is coming! <laughs> <laughs> This message see. officially endorsed by the Lizard Cult. It's like eyes are the nostrils. No, I know. They're so, it's the visibility of the thing uh, sucks. Well, um, anyway, so yeah. So the uh, Lizard Cult <laughs> rushed into Fire Hollow, streaming out from Iron Vein, equipped with weapons of Iron Vein steel, stronger than any else in the woodlands. And against their might. Even stronger than cat steel? Even stronger than cat steel. Whoa! <laughs> I, the, the, the sounds off. <laughs> oh yeah, well that's all right. Um, in any case, the um... <laughs> that's pretty good, Rick or uh, Casey. Um, all right. Um, it was worth it just to see the lizard mask. Well, you know what? Oh, Donnie's here. <laughs> oh, Donnie's here. You know what? Show's over. Um... <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Have a good night. <laughs> um, all right. So. Um, yeah, so the lizards have swarmed into Fire Hollow as their uh, lizard revolution begins. The cult uprising begins to swarm. Of course, Sundell uh, will be where the uh, the characters uh, have fate meet their fate. Um, anyways, you just determined that Bob is lying. Correct. Mm -hmm. Then you asked him, what is he feeling? Yes, what and is your character feeling? I, 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 well, seeing... Or really see, feeling. Yes, so seeing as he loves chaos, um, he feels like, this this couldn't be better. Like everything is happening is so fun. Um, You're that, just along for the ride. Huh? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm like half part of this lizard cult. Uh, I actually think secretly, are you actually a part he's of lizard leaning, cult? Though? Well, secretly, he's starting to feel that way. Ah. I would think that he's like, this is, seems where all the fun's at, and I don't know why <laughs> I need to be out exploring when, like, these seem like they got good. I'm already a leader. <laughs> All right, I jumped the ranks pretty fast. Rise up to the great worm. A, a little raccoon voice appears in your head. <laughs> See? This is what happens. We don't let me cut this motherfucker's throat. <laughs> Thank you, little socks. <laughs> the little Sh socks on my shoulder. Should have should have cut him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah motherfucker, you should have killed him. You never killed him when he had a chance. <laughs> you should have killed me, you'll never get the chance again. Yeah. He's he's growing too powerful. <laughs> those, those are cult members. He's rising in Like you come in and he, like, they start to threaten you, and then like you know like ten otters from the shadows come in and being like, we're gonna you know you know, have to take the you secret, outside. Yeah. The secret otter ninja squad. Mm -hmm. uh, and you get to ask one more and question. I get to one, uh, what does your character intend to do? Uh, I I think what my intention would be is to obviously we're gonna go to Sandal. I, I think that's the the main goal. And then um just like you said, I, I would tell you this, or what maybe I guess what you infer. I guess is that kind of what happens. Um, is that you infer that this is sort of like a, what do you call it, like a double agent? Uh, what do you call it? Like a, it's, oh, so you're, you're not actually going, I, or, um, sorry. Bob. No, no, we're going to go take over Sundell and I, help. I feel compelled to remind you, whatever you say here yes. is narratively true. Correct. I am basically telling him basically what Captain Magni told me. 
which is which is we're gonna go down to Sundell. Okay. Get rid of the birds. Okay. And then get rid of the otters. Is that what you intend to do? Oh yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> now that because you've said it in this move, yes. now that you has must to do that. Be, yeah. That, that, is, well, that is what my intentions are. If, if circumstances, circumstances change, change, correct. Yeah, yeah. My intentions as of right now right, are you can't to be, do that. You can't be lying, right? Correct. Now, right? right. Okay. Hundred percent true. I'm also leaning towards lizard cult membership fandom. <laughs> and then also, I am 100% yeah, renew your subscription I was lying your before Patreon. that. Now, <laughs> to be fair, like this is also, you know, part of this is body language. Part of this is also just a conversation yeah, right, right. that we're having. You're picking up on my cues. Right. You're picking gotcha. up my cues. But also, too, you're rolling with charm. You rolled really well. So, Very charming. Again, and, yeah, and he I'm, might be opening up to you. Uh, right. He might be opening up to you. So, <laughs> well, you like, are my protector. Right. right. So, so, it would make sense so that this you kind of warn me ahead of time for the potential j- warn danger. Warn you or drop hints of recruitment? Ooh, that's a great question. <laughs> um so yeah let's let's see that life's scene. good on the cult <laughs> i want to i want to see that scene okay so you kind of you're you're basically talking to him he's figuring things out he's asking you questions and you know he's like look you know we've been through a lot together you know i think you owe me that much and you're saying you know, okay well here's what's going on here. at the end there's kind of this tension in the air between the two of you because there's this question of like do I join or do, do I not you, join? Like, are so, you really joining or are you not really joining? So do you, if you join, you're no longer a vagabond. I don't know if I'm uh, on board I got, with I that. got at least an episode to decide. <laughs> <laughs> um, so at this point in time. Oh, another tip coming. Um, <laughs> oh, $25 from Texan. Hello. What's up, buddy? The claws of the dragon shall reach all throughout the woodland. Ah, oh, <laughs> excellent. All right, Texan. That's, that's, your, that's your tip, buddy. Go ahead and pick a location on the map. Um, as the lizard cult continues its devastating reign, um, remember, do not pick Oakenhold, Sundell, or Open Sky Haven, because those are sort of important locations. Um, but uh, any anywhere else, it's kind of fair game. If you take over Milltown, Sox is going to be crushed. <laughs> I'm just letting you know I'm just right letting now. you know. Oh, like the first thing they do, by the way. Cult milfs? So much better. No, no. They, they go like <laughs> they full high down, sparrow. Right? Yeah. yeah, like it's they shave them. Sh- oh, shame. Shame. Yeah, you shame. join a cult, buddy. That means no sex. <laughs> That's right. Oh, no, no, no. He's a leader, so. Oh, you're oh, fine. Right. right. Yes. Yes. He's, no sex okay. for you. <laughs> Abstinence you, pledge. You, you can right. have sex with you the need, children. You need a. Right. Oh, no, no. No one can have sex, so that means that you have to have sex with everyone. Uh-oh. It's the only way to happen. Keep the- oh, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> More oh, treats boy. to the world. <laughs> All right, Henry, pick another clearing. Uh, pick two, Henry. <laughs> yeah, Henry Henry picks two. Texan needs to pick one. But Texan needs to pick his first. Do we, do we have enough clearings? Oh, yeah, I think so. I, I, so this campaign may end Your just because the lizards the take way. over <laughs> everything. <laughs> All right. The lizard is back, baby. All right. <laughs> I mean, this this mask is absolutely ridiculous. It is. Um, okay. Well, Henry, you also get to pick where the... Where You're going to use lots of hand language. I'm sorry. <laughs> but the only thing that I can remember is the old TV show Dinosaurs. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that, that's, that's what that looks like to me. Yep. How did this thing turn on, Nick? Not the mama. Uh, oh, God. Oh. He sees through the nose holes. <laughs> uh, pine horn. Oh, oh right. pine horn. Okay. Oh, well, that means the roost is gone. The roost. The, well, is it? Uh, oh, they would yeah. have destroyed that. Yeah, okay. Gone. All right. Epigy. In fact, let me help you there. You want two or one? It's maybe it's a corrupted roost now. There was, there was only one there before, Derek. Does a one stay or does two go in? Uh, was there? Was there? There's one in a roost. Uh. We'll just go with one. Okay. So it's it's one in a nest, or uh, what? Uh, I get so lizards actually, are in a nest. So would you have one a... of the powers that we have? One of, in the board. Oh, Derek, game. flip to the um main shot. No, I am on the main shot. Oh, sorry, flip to the map shot. Oh, okay, okay. They want to um, see what clearings are so left. So one of the powers that they actually get in the board game is when they have enough acolytes, the uh, lizard cult can convert, and they can actually turn enemy units on the map into lizardmen units. Oh. But they can also purify, which turns enemy buildings into lizardmen uh, buildings. So he gets so, a lizard roost almost. Yeah, so basically they they took it over and purified it, <laughs> and now it is a lizard hole. Yeah, so this Henry, might be the last, um, uh... we've got Wind Gap Refuge. We've got Underleaf, Patchwood, Clutcher's Creek, Ice Trap, Sundell, and Milltown. Now, uh, to be fair. The food is not an option for the lizards to take to over. To be fair, it, you know, it does feel like the lizard cult is sort of spreading out of the west. So it probably wouldn't make much sense that they would say go to Ice Trap, mm-hmm. but you know I think Underleaf or Wind Gap Refuge or Patchwood or any of those places uh, would uh, would be pretty sensible to me. Yep. Um, so Henry, let us know. Yep. Um, and he gets to pick two of them, right? 
Uh, he, yeah, yes. Henry gets to pick two of them. Yes. So, um, by the way, just because that tip goal is reached, uh, it still applies. If, uh, oh, absolutely, yeah. Uh, 25, every, every, every $25. Every $25, we'll take out another clearing until the whole map is destroyed. All right. <laughs> All right. Or the, or the campaign. So, Open so Sky Sox. Haven and Oakenhold are the last two to survive um, then, or, or do they... After everything is done, the lizards could potentially take them over too. The, the, it's possible that the wizard lizards just win right here, right Underleaf now. And <laughs> All right, Underleaf <laughs> and Patchwood. All right, wow. <laughs> we have to boat, and everything is uh, just lizards. You gave up the coin. Well, no, they're, they're not dead. Oh, they're not thing. Patchwood. No, it. Remember, the, those otters are technically. You guys are going to be leaving on the boat. So, so. Uh, this is exactly order six D six. Oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> KC, that's I, I exactly what it is. It, well, keep in mind the lizard cult infiltrated the River Folk Company, mm-hmm. right? And that's how they were able to maneuver their agents throughout the, the the entire land because they were able to move sight unseen, hidden. They're basically like Hydra inside oh, yeah. a shield, yeah, right? Um, or even like the s- scrolls, yeah. <laughs> and so it's, that remind me of uh, when live. you did the thing before and he did it back. It remind you've seen Monsters vs. Aliens, right? The kids movie. Ah, uh, yeah, but I don't. know. Hell, Galaxar, and they all have to repeat it after someone says it. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> That's it. That remind me. I gotta repeat it. Yeah, it's one of those like non Disney <laughs> animation ones, so I barely have seen it. Yeah, Super Disney. Sorry. Yeah, so the like, the lizard cult doesn't Disney really have out. that much like warriors in force. They mm-hmm. rely on sort of the ambushing. All right, so the 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 patchwood is going to be converted mm-hmm. but you guys are about to leave the morning of so you're setting sail for sundown yes anything final from you stocks well obviously i don't know about the lizards attack correct um no i mean i might check in the quartermaster see if i can get any like armor now that i know it exists in this game it's, yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna double down on that knowing that there's a battle coming hey there's got to uh, be an armor Maggie, in town they're, Ma- they're, they're, they're magni, supplying up yeah magni you got any uh spare armor that we might be able to uh you know, I was wondering why you guys didn't have any armor. Didn't need it into, you know, we weren't going into a full scale battle. All our stuff was kind of uh, covert, that, covert type of, you know. That's actually fairly reasonable. Um, uh, that you know, you wouldn't necessarily be wearing armor while you're trapezing through the woods mm-hmm. and all this other stuff. Um, yeah. So he'll give you, um, each. Uh, I don't know, probably six. I call the invisibility armor. There's no. <laughs> here, the invisible you're armor. With this invisible. A hundred percent obsessed with it. Um, yeah, so he'll give you, yeah, he'll give you three value of armor. So that's enough to either get plate, chain, or leather. Now, keep in mind that, uh, there is ball, there is encumbrance in this game. There's yep. a, there's a nut, there's a touch mm-hmm. of simulationism here. Um, and so, uh, page 192 in your book. So leather armor has two, <laughs> and the way it works is whenever you would take injury, um, or potentially exhaustion, if it makes sense in the fiction, you can instead mark wear on your armor. Um, so the uh, disadvantage of chainmail is that it counts as two load and plate armor counts as two load and you have to mark an exhaustion when you put it on and you can't clear that exhaustion until you take it off. Ouch. So it's just kind of always there. But yeah, you're always kind of basically I'll, a little exhausted. I'll, I'll take a chain mail then, sir. All right. Yep. Go ahead. I'm sure you got for the plate. You think so? Um, okay. And by the way, You're chainmail the big badass getting hit all the time. Yeah, chainmail. All right, I'll take the plate. All right, there you go. So a market exhaustion, a perm exhaustion, basically a permanent exhaustion. Right. Yeah. Gotcha. And then, um, and then you get plate armor, which has four boxes of wear. It has the arrow proof. So you, the first hit in a scene from arrows, you ignore it. Nice. And then, uh, yeah. All right. As we storm the beaches. <laughs> basically, might, that might, that come, might in come in handy. handy absolutely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. What about, um, what about Artemis? Artemis. What are you doing over there? Make sure to take the leather armor. Oh, you're oh you're stocking up an armor too. <laughs> I, I don't need armor. Do they have I a have bombproof suit for you? Because that seems more up your alley. I forget leather will protect me a little bit from fire. It doesn't really burn. Uh, 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 okay. I don't need armor. What? I have the I have this my savior, the great worm, to protect me. Yeah, aka me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You all leave Patchwood, and the mercenary force of the otters begins sailing down the Great Lake to Sundell. So go ahead and move the otter forces along with your vagabond forces. Uh, that you guys, Artemis. Do we do we move? Do we do? Okay. I didn't have a chance to you know roam around. He's too busy buying armor. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. But it is a two day journey. 
So there's an opportunity to have any final scenes that you want to have on the boat. So, um, and then presumably um, there will be a battle. I, By the way, as part of your mercenary contract, you are going in with the first wave. Yeah. You're yeah. sort of a vet. You're like um, Achilles, you know, on the beach ahead of the main invasion. Such a good movie. And, uh, <laughs> you know, they expect. Fucking load, mother effers. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> we must have watched different movies. <laughs> no, I know. That, that, that That's not like Saving that Private Ryan. That's what I mean. Oh, that's okay. what I was thinking of. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm more like, uh, no, and that's why no one will remember your name. <laughs> I love that quote. <laughs> We'll, um, our arrows will blot out the sun. We will fight in the shade. That's three hundred. That's three hundred. <laughs> I know. All right. So, uh, These yeah, are actually, movies I do know. <laughs> so it's a so it's a two day journey along the river, um, down towards Sundell. Mm. The otters are, you know, very fastidious, getting ready for battle, but they're also pretty cool and calm about it. Uh, they they are a trained mercenary force who've been all over the world, not just the woodland. Um, they just happen to be here now. Of course, Bob, you know, like you know, secretly mm. that. As many as like half of these people are secretly devotees of the cult of the lizard. Well, and I'm and I'm rocking it. Like pe- people so, people know that I'm rocking this yellow robe. So they it, don't know. I don't know if you guys think I'm a. So member. is the Eerie part of the Eerie dynasty that we're invading in basically in this? They're also part of the lizard cult. No, 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 no. Okay, that's what I wanted. to Not make yet. Sure. Okay, <laughs> that's why they have to be. Yeah, that's enough. why they have to be taken out. Gotcha. So this is a basically just a go in for a complete massacre. Is what we're. Get- gearing towards i mean you know to be fair they don't necessarily want to i mean unless we can convert you gotta guess, realize the there's like folk. there's like three levels well, the otters here. are doing this right and the lizard well, are behind the, the cats scenes. that's true that's true yeah. the cats hired the lizard or the the cats oh. hired the otters <laughs> well, the, the, the to invade sundell and drive out the airy presence okay so that the marquis state could take it over so it's but, not necessarily and, a massacre all it's just to get rid of the eerie dynasty in this area correct gotcha however the Head the skipper of the River Folk Company fleet, and maybe 30, 40, 50 percent of the Otter Company are secretly cultists. Gotcha. Who do want to massacre, st- start, you know, start a religious jihad and just wipe out basically everyone who is not a true believer. Interesting. So I assume I'm walking around the boat and people are kind of looking at me like, What are you wearing? They're kind of doing like a you know, like so, no, that, no, no, no. They're that, way more subtle about it than you, and they're actually good at being in a secret cult, so but, they but don't they, acknowledge <laughs> you at all. Fine. But I'm rocking it. In fact... I'm, like, very out He's like, open. how could I play this? <laughs> I feel like that's a move. Draw that's, attention that's, to himself. That, that, Absolutely. Oh, is there one called oh, draw attention to yourself? Yes. Is. Yikes. Um, um, draw attention. Yeah, Bob. <laughs> well, I'm definitely doing that. <laughs> Clearly. Um, Which one is this one on? What's... Oh, it's, it's, it's on, on the, one? Uh, um, no, it's on the, uh, where is it? No, it's Target Simulator. Where is it? I know it's done. I know. It's a reputation move. Ah, that's what mm. it's at. It's on the other one. Yeah. Yeah, under notoriety. Yeah, it's just weird because it's like not, I'm not like negative two with them, with the uh, River Company. I'm actually well, plus one. Well, what is the... L- does it have to be? What's the river company's attitude towards the lizard cult? That's so what I mean. Is out. that a negative oh, notoriety? Because yeah, yeah. I would think that would apply more because you are open about wearing the robes and the medallion. I don't know why and anybody stuff. has anything wrong with the lizard cult? Like, they good, right. good um, people. So, Bob, go ahead and roll with your reputation for the lizard cult. So, zero. Okay, there you go. How does that zero hear their leader? Not yet. All right. Um, I'm, I'm not really full pledged member. <laughs> You're just rocking the outfit everywhere. I'm trying to represent. <laughs> All right. So, Bob, what I'm going to say here Pro is that um, uh, is that because you were trying to gain support from mm-hmm. the secret lizard faction within them, mm-hmm. um, you have two options because um, that's what you were trying to do, right? I was more or less trying to see wh- which ones are my, my bros, which ones are going to get. Got, got my back. So, so you're trying to, to I'm, get that secret yeah, wink I'm, I'm or whatever to understand are how many me. are out there. Yeah, because if I'm going to the front of battle, you, you know, want to know who's really got who's got which back. ones to betray. Right. And, and which ones not to betray. All right, Bob. Fair enough. Or all of them. Fair enough. <laughs> Success with a complication. Okay. Bob, <laughs> you get a pretty good idea of which members of the force are members of the Lizard Cult. However, there's some within the Lizard Cult otters who resent that this new guy just shows up and suddenly he's Skipper Magny's best friend. <sighs> and now jealous. there is a plot to kill you. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Within the cult. Is it because I'm weak? <laughs> they're going to take no. Well, no, they notice that you're the only one not wearing armor. And they're like, 
Be easy to kill. <laughs> Very <laughs> easy to kill. Just slow the stirrup. Just, apparently, he'll, this he'll is, lie a, down this right is for a recurring you. problem. Barely an inconvenience. You. Barely an inconvenience for you. Um, Great. That means I got more work ahead of me. But um, anyways, so yeah. Um, now, you don't know that. That's right. I assume everyone's friendly. Um, but, you know, they're all kind of like, uh-huh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah. But then secretly, there's a small group of people. <laughs> like who... Spider-Man scene where he's like walking on that. <laughs> oh, with the ven- and <laughs> yeah, venom. Yeah. All right. Um, anybody else? I just like to walk around the ship. Yeah, I'm just walking around. See if there's any place I could maybe put some things. <laughs> like trash cans. Out of, out of the way that nobody would see. Well, um, that sounds like you're going to definitely have to attempt a roguish feat then to try to get some some things. So you're either going to have to hide or sneak. Um, things go boom. Do you have either of those? I, I do not. Well, Ooh. in that case, you're going to have to trust fate as you try to see if you can... Basically, evade the Riverfolk guards so that you can successfully plant explosives all over the star flow. Our ship. What? The ship that Our we're ship. on. The yeah. ship that you're on, yes. yes. Chaos. I, wait, wait. Do you have a timer this time? He's got enough time. Okay. This, this is more of a, of a lengthy process. Okay. It's like want... you burn your ships before the battle so that you only can go forward. Seven. <laughs> all right. <laughs> what strategy are you following? If you burn your ships, so, oh, you can't retreat. You have to march on. Okay. So, so okay. You, you scrape by. It's a real thing. Uh, you thing. scrape by or you barrel through at a cost. Um, so, Dirt, you get your bombs planted, okay, successfully. Okay. Um, but just as you're about to, uh, just as you're about to finish, you know, completing it, somebody sees you and they immediately come over. So, so you've got basically, basically the bombs are planted everywhere. But like on that last instant where you're like coming around the corner, like one of the what are uh, you doing here? This one is of the restricted yeah, area. Exactly, exactly. I don't even need to GM. Nick is doing it for me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what happens next, Nick? <laughs> trying to help. I'm just trying to help. Chat, chat, GP, Nick. <laughs> um, a, a otter guard wearing you know full plate cuirass, wielding a halberd, you know, with a helmet with a little visor steamed down. Goes, what are you doing here, vagabond? This is a restricted area. I, I, I grab the nearest rope. And I, I'm I'm checking this byline to make sure it's tight enough, so when we go bow side in, you know, the sails and stuff don't move the wrong way, so we don't get shifted, so we can all jump out at the same time. What do you know about sailing? You think you have anything you could teach the Riverfolk Company? I'm an otter for God's sake. Yeah, what do you eat? I was just thinking that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, wait, what was in that plastic uh, container you got down there? Yeah. Chicken he kind of scowls at you and dirt. Trick an NPC. Roll cunning. Plus two. Ooh. 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 Eight. All right. So dirt, you do um, on a hit. They take the bait and do what you want, but they do one of the following. Um, uh, they hesitate. Confidence is shaken. They stumble, and you gain an opportunity. Or they overreact, and you take a plus four, plus four. Oh, I don't think they wrote that way. <laughs> they overreact, and you get plus an advantage? Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 Whoa. Okay, there we go. All right, on a hit, they take the bait and do what you want. However, on a seven to nine, they can instead choose. Oh. They hesitate. You shake their confidence or weaken their morale. They stumble. You gain a critical opportunity. They, they overreact and take plus one with you. He goes, what are you talking about? And he, like, looks over the bow of the ship, you know, to, like, see what you're looking at. He's like, what were you doing over there? And he, so he doesn't believe you, but he's giving you an opportunity because he's turning his back to you. And he's, like, looking over the edge of the ship where you've actually planned. Push him over? You could totally push I'm him over. I'm going to push him over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, he's learned from Lucius. Dirt. Um, he's killed way more people than me. <laughs> there's, uh, trust <laughs> fate again? <laughs> because there's no real move for this. Um, go for it. You're not really engaging in melee, but you definitely have an opportunity to do this. Could be a grapple, but it could be, it could be a saying. grapple, yeah. Seven. All right. Well, you succeed. Um, <laughs> you grab him as he goes over the edge, and you flip him over the edge, and he comes stumbling, uh, you know, stumbling down, splashes into the river. Unfortunately, he's an otter. He's, he's an, an otter. otter. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what they eat, so we don't know if they swim, though. <laughs> So That's it's funny. not like he starts to drown or anything like that. So you succeed, but again, seven through nine on a trust fate means it costs you something. He starts going, 
we've been betrayed. We've been betrayed. He's like swimming and like you see like otters start looking over the edge and he's kind of like flapping his tail. I mean, he, he can't swim that well. He is wearing heavy armor, but he's, he's so he's not like he's able to just immediately get back to the ship. But he is shouting out that the hedgehog, get the hedgehog. You need to invest in a sneak skill, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, Socks. Yep. <laughs> what are you doing? Socks is uh, he, he's on the the ship, maybe near the bow, uh, fletching another quiver of arrows, getting ready. Right, right. Obviously, there's, you're planning on a lot of uh, yeah, a lot of Harry, Harry the foe or yeah. whatever it's called. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Katie, Nick, your mom's oh. watching. Oh. Also, Hi. Uh, also, Hi, mom. She's gonna learn some things about you. <laughs> Oh, and um, apparently also you'll have food ready. All right, um, all, right. No. all right, so you're up there m- making arrows, and then you, you know, you're a keen, you're a keen-eared ranger. So you hear the splash, right? And then you hear kind of the shuffling of feet, Back and then splash. you've heard, you've heard those high pitched voices and scuttling of feet too many times, and then suddenly you hear a voice crying out into the night. You know, the hedgehog did it. The hedgehog, he's betrayed us. He's betrayed us. What do you do? Not is there anyone around me? Um, no, you're you know you're being, he, you're he's a loner. In his cabin or is he? Are, are you in your cabin or are you out like? Oh, well, I said I was out on the. Deck. Okay. He said, yeah, but I said you're flushing. a loner, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you know you're totally by yourself. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, um, socks kind of sighs, <sighs> goes over to the side of the ship. Do I see a drowning otter? Uh, I mean, yeah, you, you see a struggling otter. One shot, sure. one kill. He's got his armor. He's probably not meant to be swimming right now. Yeah, he's he's struggling. He's, he's struggling. It's uh, not looking not looking good for you there, buddy. <laughs> help, help, help me, vagabond. Toss him a cement lifeboat. Your, your companions betrayed us. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was that? It's hard to hear with the drowning. <sighs> he kind of flips his tail a little bit more and starts you know, uh, scribbling up. He's like, throw me something, a rope, something. What about my companions? They had nothing to do with this. <laughs> persuade NPC. Oh. Aaron, persuade an NPC. So Could just be charm. Yeah. All right. That is an eight. All right. On a seven through nine, they aren't sure. The GM will tell you what you need to do to sway them. Save them might be a good swaying point. <laughs> he goes. He goes. Yeah. No. I, nothing. I didn't see anything. Nothing at all whatsoever. Oh my goodness, you're drowning. We gotta get you out of that water. <laughs> That's our rope up here. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's a ship. Yeah. All right. So I was, the I was, one I that he was making sure that was secured. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. So he kind of like flops up and straggles off. Really and- glad we started that out. Would have been a terrible misunderstanding. <sighs> Thank you. Of course. For helping. What are friends for? Uh I should have known that a companion of Lucius. Would also be Ooh. a follower of the Great Worm. What the who? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the first rule of the lizard cult is you don't talk about the lizard cult. I was going to ask if he well, was, I was going to jump over. <laughs> clearly, he's violating that. <laughs> yeah. <I'm... laughs> but it is clear that your hedgehog friend is not with us. The revolution is coming. Well, after... to be fair, I don't know who Artemis is with. He's kind of like a force of nature. An explosive one. That is very true. I will let though. I will let the boys know though, when the uh, attack is complete, and the slaughtering begins, that you are to be left alone. Doesn't the slaughtering happen during the attack? No. After the airy forces are just driven out, then we will make an example, and we will convert. We will kill all of the Rivercoat Company, as well as all of the denizens of Sundell, as a great tribute to the Great Worm. So you're going to kill your own people the, for a worm. My, they're not my people. They may be otters, but they do not follow the great worm like I, us. Right? Honestly, you know, that's not what I was doing. I Are you there? I mean, I'm on the boat. I mean, I was right there when I pushed him over, so I would assume so. Well, I mean, I was assuming this is further down the no. boat, but I mean, okay. he, he's, uh, still, he, he's still pretty. So, I see he was saying, going down. He was. So what you're saying is you would be like part of that massacre he and blowing up the I mean, boat? I'm blowing up the otters. He doesn't know that I'm not blowing him up for the lizard people. Well, he doesn't know what you're doing at all. Yes. No one knows. Then you just pushed push him over. Push him off the edge, <laughs> all he knows is that you pushed him over the edge and almost killed him. Yeah. He's I not mean, too happy with you. Well, <laughs> he didn't tell me he was a lizard person. 
but, but you're not a lizard person. Uh, he doesn't know that. <laughs> I was like, we don't know he's not a lizard. He's been very cryptic this whole time, just going off and doing his own things and blowing things up. That's true. <laughs> Look, I'm very positive with the lizard people, or less of the um, <laughs> You won't so be positive he, very much longer. Listen, Mr. Uh, Otter, I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Aaron, you can figure him out. Sure. <laughs> Does he have brain damage? Yes. <laughs> Was I too late? <laughs> he's, a, he's a little. He's a little waterlogged. A little uh, what is this? Uh, charm. 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 All right. It is Ooh. a nine. Ooh. Very nice. All right, Aaron. You get to ask. I'm glad I got that plus one to charm. Uh, you get to ask one question. Rather than negative. That's right. Uh, yeah. You get to ask one question. Is your character telling the truth? What is your character really feeling? What does your character intend to do? What does your character wish I would do? And how do I get your character to blink? He just told you what he intended to do. <laughs> right. <laughs> Scratch that one off the list. What do I care about? Huh. I don't know what I care about. Right on. <laughs> Kit Wan for Kit Wan. Uh, what are my options again? Sorry. Let's see. What is this? This, this is, is figure, is, someone, is, figure out. someone out. Character telling the truth, though. I believe he is. Uh, what is he really feeling? Kind of want to know that. Can't to do kind of. What does your character wish I do, and how do I get your character to do? Huh? Hmm. How do I get you could, this character to? You could have them turn on me. They, that, that's a seated plan. Oh, it's true. You could be like, you are not an asshole. You, you, <laughs> but you could be like, you could be like, yeah, let's go. But that Lucius isn't the strongest leader. Yeah, that's a great idea, Bob. Well, now that would be more of a persuasion. <laughs> okay, fair, but fair, but this fair. is him. Well, no, I out. could I could ask. Yeah, you yeah, could yeah, ask. yeah, yeah. Yeah, what do I need yeah. to get in the turn against Lucius? Oh, great question. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was right. thinking. And that, now, so that skips the persuasion because if you tell them, if I tell you what you right, need to it's do, it's I'm not triggering the move. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um. It's like they figured this game out and how to run it right. That's now. really cool. I, that that pretender. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> no, like nice. really, I don't think you understand how accurate your words are right there just now. Oh, you mean he's not a devout worshiper of the lizard god? He doesn't know anything about it. Then where did he get the robe and the medallion? He showed up with it one day. Checks out. A, Cult leader. Like, listen, he was going to like the barber and he came back with that. <laughs> and it was <laughs> that is actually true. Accurate. That is 100 percent accurate. No Drenched to, in someone else's no blood. That is actually accurate. <laughs> yeah, no checks required. That so he's fact. A, so he's a deceiver then. A traitor. All right, let me ask. Do you guys have like dogma? Uh a little. A belief. Well, certainly we believe that the the anything birth, specific. Um well, we believe that the, the meek shall inherit the earth. Right. Okay. Literally ask him about that. He won't know. <laughs> that 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 probably checks out. We'll see. <laughs> well, better roll if he isn't, if he is what you say he is, which is to say he is not a member of the lizard cult, then the punishment is burning. Death by fire and cremation. That seems like it would take a lot of time. I can help with that. <laughs> well, uh, you do you. No, we... Also, Artemis can help with that. <laughs> Why did you try to kill me? But listen, it was a, it's his defense reaction. Listen, understanding. Yeah. What are you eating? <laughs> <laughs> is, is that out, is out, out of food? I don't know. <laughs> I just wouldn't like it. Um, it's a chicken. <laughs> They come uh, from the farms, uh, the farmlands. Are you, is it chicken or is it Erie Dynasty? Nah, that's true. <laughs> All right. Well, Bob. Mm -hmm. So what are you eating? Chicken from the farmlands. That's what otters eat. <laughs> I'm not the otter right now. Mm. He's so just close. Derek right so now. close. Just a GM. Yeah. I asked um, Bob. I was like, Bob, everyone is now coming against you. It sounds... Well, technically, I am. thrilling and this chaotic. Guy's going, I'm not doing anything specifically. That's true. You just set the plans in motion. Right. All right. Just more right. chaos. Right. Is, yeah. your, is one of your drives I don't chaos? actually know. Like, you didn't actually tell me how, what to do, so is he just good with it? Like, he was just going to do this anyway? Oh, no, no, no. By telling him that he wasn't a member of it, like, oh. in order to tell he's like, well, I wouldn't do that to him. He's a loyal member of the... Oh, Lizard got Club. it. Okay. And you're like, oh, yeah. no, he's not. Yeah. And he's like, okay, so if he goes, if you if he finds out he's not right. by questioning him, sure, then... Yeah, they'll kill. Him. All right, great. You All right, might, go you ahead. Have an the crazy, with, uh... the crazy part is here. If he tries, if can the NPC try to figure me out? 
Uh, no, I can't roll dice. You have to. You have to lie. You have to. You have to. I, you oh, have to, so right. Because yeah, so Derek if, will just ask you. So if I fail the deception tr- check, right. yes, you have to trick. Then the I either NPC. I burn or have to go full fledged lizard cult to prove it right, and then I I technically have to retire my character because now I'm a. That lizard is cult. how the game works. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> so there will not be well, a like succession. <laughs> so like this guy now knows for sure I'm definitely not part of the cult, but like we're like bros. But you're cool, right? Because but you, you saved, saved his him, life. Yeah. Sure, okay. you know, and he's basically like. Just don't don't be in town after the battle, you know. <laughs> <laughs> don't be there. Also, if I see your hedgehog companion, I'm gonna fucking drown him. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, that's fair. I'll find out what I eat finally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, We're gonna find out if it's hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wear his head as a helmet. I um, mean, there's only so much I can do. So, all right. Well, <laughs> morning comes mm. and uh, the boats are readied. And uh, the assault craft are lowered into the water as the otter uh, uh, sort of marines stream down cargo nets into the rowboats waiting at the side of the ships. Anybody as, hear um, a ticking sound? Um, <laughs> as several of the, uh, uh, the larger otters are also assigned to row duty, and a, uh, a uh, sub skipper <gasps> is on each uh, sort of a boat. Um, and. Um, one by one, there's probably first, you know, a dozen and then two dozen. And finally, as many as three dozen of these uh, salt craft um, are sort of prepared. If you've ever seen Return of the Kings, like when the orcs come out of the mist to attack Osgiliath um, on their boats and they do the river crossing. It's just like that. It's a misty morning. And um, the uh, skipper Magni kind of appears on the bow of the star flow and he looks down at your boat. He gives you a, a nod and uh, good luck to all of you. Vagabonds. Earn your pay. And uh, your boat begins paddling towards the shore as uh, several of the otter rowmen uh, start taking you in um, under the cover of the mist. And within a few moments, the star flow and the rest of the sh- fleet is sort of lost in the mist, although you can hear them maybe about a couple hundred yards back as they begin their assault. Um, but expecting for you to basically be the ones. Are we all in the same boat? The oh, yeah. Okay. I just said there's three of them, so I didn't know if we were separated. No, no, no. There's there's a bunch of boats coming from oh, one okay. ship, but yeah, you guys are all in one boat. Got it. Okay. Unless you don't want to be, but I just didn't know if I was on a boat filled with fellow a lizard folk, fellow lizard folk. Um, <laughs> oh, that's a great question. Is uh, is, uh, is the guy he saved on the same boat? Actually, here, someone's got me. Here's what you actually. Here's yeah. what you know, but yeah. you don't know. But I you do. Here's them. what you know, but you don't know. There's now these guys are not necessarily warriors. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're big, strong otters, but they're Roman, but they're not like equipped to. Battle. battle they just go back and forth right um they're they're kind of more like the, the muscle. transport guys. yeah the transport guys that being said they are all members of the lizard cult okay that being said they are all now going to kill him <laughs> right <laughs> cool <laughs> so he may not make it to shore is what i'm understanding oh uh, you know well, i mean i'm here to kill chicken so all right all right so i, I go around to yep. each of the members yep uh and uh uh, I mark a depletion. Oh, okay. Take out some yellow paint, and I make a little like. Uh, do they have like a symbol, like a three prong? Like you would <laughs> inside the robes is the lizard cult Bible. <laughs> need... I... All right, fair make enough. Some narrative truths here now. <laughs> some, some strong narrative. Truth. Bob's uh, Bob's getting pretty desperate for his role playing. <laughs> <laughs> What are you reading over there? I told you he had a See? thing for books. Yeah, that's right. You thought I was taking legends. That, I was that finding is a lizard great quote. Cult. Bob is getting pretty desperate if he starts role playing. <laughs> We're getting you a shirt. That's pretty good. Um, and I start uh, marking the symbol of the lizard cult on the members with some yellow paint. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't know what's going to happen. So that's what I'm doing. You're marking your secret cult yes. with their symbol. Yes. What so that it's visible. Wrong? Everyone sees it. Yes. Well, I don't know if everyone knows the, what Lizard Cult thing is. The idea is that remember he is clueless. He's actually the least informed person at the table. I think and somehow point, he's a Sox leader. knows more about the cult. Correct, you absolutely do he, because you know that the meek shall inherit the, the earth. He doesn't earth. know that. Yeah. <laughs> I, if it's not in my Bible, then I don't know what's going on <laughs> it's here. It's not in my Bible. Um, my, I read my manuscript. The, uh, the the otters all look at each other, nod grimly, and nod back at you, and you think it's a good sign. That's <laughs> yes, right. And they're like, "Oh yeah, we're gonna kill <laughs> but they're you." Like, oh, we're definitely <laughs> killing this guy. <laughs> uh, we're definitely scrub off the mark when you look away. 
way. <laughs> we were kind of am before, but now we're absolutely we're killing absolutely them. Uh-huh. Because you're like one of those idiot people that gets the, like the tribal tattoo that you know they think means like courage, but it actually means like kung pao chicken. And <laughs> great. <laughs> oh my god! You, you just dobbled the nonsense on their thing. You know, yeah. um, you got like China, but in Japanese. <laughs> um, hey, look at that! Um, actually, dirt. Oh, you think must middle, have renewed. You, you must have renewed your subscription to being an adventurer in the middle of this screen. Awesome. <laughs> Thank, Thank you for your here. support. Yeah. Along, with, along with Glaring in Depth, who just now has his eleventh month of being a sponsor of the of the YouTube channel. Thank so you, everyone. On a big one big year. Ooh. And I think uh, either either your sister or your sister acting as your mother has subscribed to the channel as well. <laughs> I cannot tell. Uh, <laughs> so thank you, uh, thank Glaring you. in Depth. Although I'm sure you're not watching this, but. Dirt. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thank, thank you. you. Dirt, are you watching the stream? We know Dirt's I am not watching, watching this. <laughs> um, China and Japanese uh, would still be that same way that China writes China. Damn it. Well, look, whatever it is, obviously I misread my manuscript. <laughs> right, right. You you thought you were putting the thing <laughs> look, for like vengeance roll. and you actually put the I feel like, like I should be rolling for knowledge. Don't, don't I get a recall knowledge check or something on this? Wrong app. You know what, Bob? Trust fate. Roll with luck. They're throwing you over now. Oh, <laughs> five we can't, total. We can't even help you with, to save you, with man. With my luck, I had plus two, and I rolled like shit. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, oh, you ain't making it to show. Maybe shore. this is the last episode. <laughs> I don't know. For <laughs> you. For <Or> you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys emerge from the mist, and there you can see before you the shoreline of Sundell, the low beach, the low gravelly beach that kind of spreads around the edge where the uh, the the small pastoral town leads down to the water's edge with just a couple of docks, not nearly as built up as, say, Patchwood or Milltown, um, where the, the river folk companies come in and take grain. However, you can also see that the interior of the town is still a burnt husk, mm. um, and you can still <laughs> see the giant pile of rubble where once the great roost lies uh, before you blew it up. However, as you sort of emerge from the fog, and um, a splash? you see um, a maybe like one or two airy patrolmen, um, proud birds wearing like silvery chain mail over their uh, bodices with spears, um, kind of standing alert and standing guard. And a couple of them see the approaching wave of boats. And if you can imagine, like there's like a line of boats breaking cover. And then there's like one that's, you know, a hundred yards ahead of it. And which is you guys. And, you know, the otters are like, row, row. And then the airy starts squawking. Sox is standing on the bow, his distinct gle- uh, green cloak flowing behind him as he begins to knock his bow. Mm. Um, I, I do what, I do ooh, what, I do what right. Sox does. Aaron, so the sentry is trying to call alert. Take him out. Sure. It, it could be a vulnerable foe at distance. All right. Oh. Take him out. Is that like that precise shot or whatever it's called? I do have trick shot. Uh, no, this is just what... Um, this is if I need a clever shot. This is just, Would specifically uh, severing his vocal cord be a clever shot, Derek? <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? He, you know, he does have Excellent. experience with doing that. That's true. Shooting narrows. Oh, right you know what? The neck. There is narrative precedence for this. Take plus one forward. All <laughs> right, love it. Plus three. Here we go. All right, that would have been a crit. <laughs> oh really? Uh, Fourteen. Jeez. <laughs> he has he has a knack for shooting oh. arrows right into the throat. What? So what, I can see. <laughs> what? What? Which one is this one, Aaron? So this is trick shot. Okay, got uh, it. On 10 plus, choose three. Your shot lands in any, uh, in any target of your choice within range, even if it's behind cover or hidden. Your shot strikes the second available target of your choice. Your <laughs> shot cuts something, uh, his vocal cords. Uh, your shot distracts an opponent and provides an opportunity. I mean, you get to pick three. So, so I'm going to pick Aaron, three. Aaron, so you rolled so well. I'm going to say that you gained trick shot mastery. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> on the spot. On Cut a, out. So mastery is a... Is a, is a Something you take that takes you above normal skill, which gives you now something that happens when you get a 12 plus. Okay. Mm. On a 12 plus, take all four options from the list. Great. And oh your God. shot strikes a third available oh target of your God. choice. All right. Turn to uh, ask. This is what I'm going to do. Okay. All right. Um, my shot that was will cut his vocal cord. Yep. And then kill the guy behind him. Yep. And Does it then. Kill the guy that you cut his vocal cords? Huh? Does it kill the guy that you cut his vocal Yeah, he's cords? gone. Okay. Well, I mean, he, his throat's ripped I, open. Derek's so, in the side so when his he whole entire up. head. Right. Who, head. who else do we got around here, Derek? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of airy guardsmen. <laughs> I mean, like, but I mean, there was like two at the end of the dock, and then there's like more like a like a sort of like a barracks kind of at the end of the dock. Okay, this is a dock, right? Yep. Like a loading dock, full on dock. Mm-hmm. Great. Well, it's not like a tall pier though. 
like it's really low into the ground. It's really just like, again, they don't have like a really built up infrastructure here because it's just like a small pastoral town. So it's more like there's like probably like a, a like a, a not a tent, but like a, a ramshackle like sort of, uh, you know, uh, little barracks that they have on the water's edge. <laughs> and like. Um, <laughs> and uh, and, you know, these there's two guardsmen that were like, you know, kind of drew the short straw for the morning watch. Right. They're and the rest of the guardsmen are all back at like their little like tent, probably like cooking, you know, mm-hmm. breakfast or maybe they're cooking some bacon, you know. Ah, so we know birds eat bacon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen a pig yet. Not yet. <laughs> they're on the farmlands. Uh, it could be Turkey it's an expansion. Bacon. All right, so you <laughs> release the most insane shot of all time. Yeah, so those two are dead, and I guess the arrow flies into the barracks, which uh, distracts them, and then, I don't know, at this point, it's just Double bullshit. Kill. Hits a pot of boiling water, which then spills over onto more guards. <laughs> all right, so. Well, it was bacon, so could it be boiling bacon grease? Gre- yeah, 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 yeah. Bacon grease, grease, and it sets it on fire? All yeah. right, so <laughs> the two guardsmen die as the one starts screaming. He's cut off as his throat gets slit. The arrow pierces through the other one, sails down the edge of the dock, Bounces, flips into the uh, ding, flips ding, into ding, the ding. tent. It spills <laughs> over the grease. They all start getting distracted. So all the guards are kind of busy flopping and squawking around. Someone's like, "Why'd you spill that? Why'd you spill it?" And nobody sees your boat just <laughs> sailing in, as... just like D Day. <laughs> <laughs> all I'm picturing is the guy from Halo. Double kill. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> as um as uh the guardsmen are now completely distracted. You guys sail in. No shots land on you. The guardsmen are kind of in complete disarray. And then there's a low crunch as the bottom of your boat, your rowboat, kind of gets pushed up into the sort of gravelly uh, bed with maybe about a you know foot or two of surf left before you get to the uh, edge of the beach. And uh, you know the uh, skipper of your little rowboat's like, "Give him hell!" How many people were in that in the 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 fire cabin area there? Uh, about ten. Uh, they're distracted. I'm thinking of just storming in and laying waste. That sounds man. good. I, Following I, I, you, I, yeah. I'm just I'm I'm uh I'm storming a group here at this <laughs> oh, point. <laughs> well, all right. I guess I'm following you. So okay, you got you take I'm, the charge. Yeah, I'm just going in. Ah, just with while your, they're somewhat distracted by the fire, I'm absolutely. just trying to hack and slash. So normally, I would say that rushing up the beach with your sword held over high of you, screaming a war cry, <laughs> would be what we call empowered by the apocalypse a golden, golden opportunity, opportunity. But, and they would shoot you full of arrows. However, they're distracted. So the <laughs> and they didn't, they didn't hear the other no, guy squawking, so right, they didn't. They, they're, they're not completely unaware right. that this is happening. So I'm going to say that you could totally close that distance. Now, Artemis, what are you doing? Just kind of hanging back. In the boat? Watching things, yep. Okay. Socks. Are uh, there any other groups of enemy soldiers? Oh, yeah. There's. I mean, uh, this is just like the ones on the beach. Right. But remember, Sundell had a large garrison of airy forces and troops. All right. But there's, I... there's nothing up on like on a roost or uh, like on a wall, like because we destroyed their whole. Their fortress is destroyed. The, okay. The, the, they so they only... don't have any towers with archers or anything like that ready to potentially go. No. Okay. You guys took out all their fortifications. I picked the next pack tight group at relatively closer range, but not too close and began harrying them. Okay, are you getting off the boat? Are you moving in on the beach as you shoot? Like, what are you doing? Uh, I mean, I'll move forward if I can, okay, but I'll focus first on harrying them. Great. Basically, just like a, a walking pace, yeah. just laying hail of so it. But I'm not currently shooting. I can move. Got it. Right. Shoot and move. You know, yeah. shoot, shoot. So, Vance, you take off with your great sword. You come over. You're waiting behind. You get out to go with him. Yes. Are you going to follow me? Are you yeah. arrows too? As you get out, oh, gosh. the lizards... <laughs> I'm not there to help you because you were behind me. Delayed trigger here. The four <laughs> lizard oarmen grab you by the shoulders and sit you back down and turn towards you. Is this an initiation? And you, <laughs> and you hear That's not the a good question and you hear the sh- 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 sound as all four of them draw curvy, wavy, ritualistic knives. Can Great. I blow the boat now? <laughs> Which oh, boat? the big one. The big wait, wait, one. you're on yeah, the boat. Sure. You're on the boat I'm on the too, boat right? When I see this, he, and I know that's going he, on. He's on our little boat. I was listening. Oh, okay. When he was talking to the otters. So I'm going to try to distract them so he can escape. Uh, sure. So it's just a little well, boom. Th- there's no move for that because it doesn't actually exist. So uh... <laughs> so the big boat blows up. Oh, right. you're going to blow the big boat. Yeah, yeah. The big, that's where oh, all his bombs were. He's not, he's not making a new bomb. No. Okay. Yeah, not this boat. That, yeah, okay. The big boat you, that you, he you, laced you. with all the explosions. Gotcha, all right. Coach. So suddenly uh, you don't really see it because it's back in the mist. But there's suddenly a huge, big, massive explosion. The uh, mist is gone because hopefully the, the catching the other boats on fire too. You know, uh, no, all the other rowboats have cleared from the star float by the time this happens. Because you are guys you saying are saying rowboats, no or you rowboats, mean the, the other big boats, boats. are all parked next to us. Um, no, 
I didn't get any. Probably not, no. Okay. But, I mean, this was the pride of their fleet and their, their masterful ship. Um, however, uh, Dirt, um, normally when you wreck something, you have to roll with might. But that obviously doesn't make any sense here. So I'm going to have you wreck something with cunning and see how you do. Yeah, that's pretty Let's sweet. Do. Let's go. Wreck it, Ralph. That'll be an 11. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what? Wow. Even better. There is Ooh. a move from the... Expansion? No, from oh. the core book. From the playbook that I banned. That we ended the, up uh, that, doing anyway. That is all that you and Bob have been doing the entire time. This is the arsonist <laughs> thing. So the arsonist. This is called the scoundrel. Oh, that's the oh. one I wanted. And it's the one that Bob wanted to be, but I banned because I thought it would be problematic and cause too much chaos and destruction. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Good thing you got rid of that. Yeah. By the way, uh, how this the out? default nature of the scoundrel is arsonist. Mm -hmm. And then their drives are crime, thrills, chaos, and infamy. He which took is, arsonist. Which I think though. is literally all four of their drives. Yeah. But, yeah. But, he, but he took arsonist last time, didn't okay. you? Arsonist. Okay. But and I took chaos. But one of the one of the moves that the scoundrel get is called explosive personality. Okay. When you oh. wreck something with flagrantly distract dangerous means, such as explosions and uncontrolled flames, you roll with luck instead of might. There's also an ability that they get called create to destroy. When you use available materials to rig up a dangerous device, roll with finesse. On a hit, you cobble something together. On a ten plus, choose one. On a seven through nine, choose two. The device is more dangerous than you intended. Larger or more unwieldy than expected. This reminds me of something. I know. <laughs> that's never happened before. By the way, the third one is, it's a distraction. Which is exactly what he said. <laughs> so basically, every single move that you are doing is in the game, uh, just on a completely uh, different playbook. Um, so right, your so, tinker should, is really an arsonist, so is what I'm dirt. Hearing. So you're going to roll with luck instead of might for your um, explosive personality. We'll say that. So what'd you get? Luck is zero as well, so I only roll the nine. Oh, great. Okay. In that case, you hit it. There's no con there's no consequences. There's no um, yeah. issues. The the boat just completely and totally blows up. And then, <laughs> Dirt, you count as having the blind side. So attempt a roguish feat, uh, which is finesse, I think. Cunning? Finesse? No, cunning. Uh, finesse. No, attempt a roguish feat. Roguish feat. Oh, finesse. Finesse. Yeah, this is roguish feat. Yeah, finesse. Um, when you, you gain the roguish feet blind side, when you attempt a roguish feet to blind someone while they're distracted by environmental dangers, oh, roll with luck. That's what I was reading. Uh, okay. that's, uh, sorry, sorry. So, luck. yeah, so roll with luck instead of hmm. Six. Ooh. Not good enough. You have no luck? No luck. Mm. What is he trying can to you, can you cause aid a distraction him? Can from you, his massive Can you explosion? aid in any way, Bob? Oh, interesting. Because... You are in the same boat as him. That's I'm right. gone. Your life. Socks is gone. So it's just you, you and Artemis and the four that's a, rowers. That's an exhaustion usually to do that. It's an exhaustion to aid him. Thanks. Is your exhaust track full? It's a three of four. So I'd be like pretty exhausted here. But my thought process. Maybe you rest from time to time yeah. instead, instead of doing shit. crime all night. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I definitely want to aid him here. Um, I'm trying to think. My first thought was to sort of. Um, First, I was to sort of call out their uh, their blatant disregard for the the order of the worm. <laughs> the <laughs> well, now to be clear, yeah. he is using the blind he's using side. It from he, back he's there. using he's using the blind side, uh, roguish feet, mm -hmm. which lets you backstab, murder, sneak attack, sucker punch. So now you're trying to. Ooh, can I kill one of them? You can try to. I would well, say you. You know, we're we're oh. resolving his move. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. You could try to make a move to like. Hit one and off. Said, How are you helping him distract oh. them? And that's, we're, we're my thought was to, my right. thought was to 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 sort of shame these four people that he's that he's distracting. Well, right, but understand the narrative. The massive explosion just yeah. happened. That's the distraction. Oh, so you could be. And oh my God! Dirt, look at that. And, uh, dirt failed, so it didn't distract them. And instead, I'm going to say they go. Oh, we heard about you, and they're going to kill him too. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to murder both of you on the boat while these two heroically take out the area dynasty. So you, that is what's at stake here. Now, how do you, if you can, narratively, hmm. sort of overcome that? Yeah. Oh, my God. What yeah. about Skipper uh, Magni? Is he okay? Oh, yeah. Skipper Magni's my boy, too. But he, is he on that ship? Is Skipper Magni on that Nick's ship? Nick's trying to help you here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, th I think that's actually great. Um, yeah, I call out for my dear friend, Skipper Magni, and I, I would hope resonating with them, who is an actual... Uh, cult member, cult leader, <laughs> and so I would, I would, I would uh, be like, yeah. So crocodile tears. I don't know. Uh, 
Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I don't really care about a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh, oh, we got uh, Donnie here in the chat. Scenario oh. Workshop. Oh. Word, uh, of the worm. Clearing. Word of the worm has spread to the refuge. The north will be secured. All right, Bob. I think we need more pieces. Yes. Yes, we need more pieces. Oh, to the Win, wind oh, Gap wind, Refuge is now taken over wind, by the lizard. Wind Gap Refuge has now been taken over. All right. The lizard conquest continues to spread. Patchwood, Wind Gap Refuge, Fire Hollow, Pinehorn, Underleaf, all now firmly under. The Great Worms d- uh, Diabolic <laughs> I, I love the dynamic Diabolic grasp. I love the dynamic that this all started from the very beginning. The cats had like, you know, when we everything. first started rolling, almost everything. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh, the birds take over almost everything. And then and the, the otters, otters took yeah. almost everything. And I was like, the lizards are like, nah, fuck this. We're taking it all. <laughs> yeah. War. I agree. War never changes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um so yeah. you aid. Yeah, I'm calling out for well, Obviously, their their main leaders on the boat. I think, at least I think. Yep. All right. So uh, I mark exhaustion. Right. So you get a seven, which means you achieve your goal. But one of the dangers of blindsiding will come to bear unless you mark an exhaustion to ignore it. I will mark an exhaustion to ignore it. All right. So you're ready for this. Um, your time. You're waiting perfectly. It's a blindside dirt. So as the explosion goes off and these otters turn to you. And Bob goes, no, Skipper Magni. <laughs> the four rowers basically give you complete access to kill them, murder them, backstab them, do whatever you want. Watch so what, is that, what does that look like to you? Or what does that mean? You can dispatch them at your leisure. You have successfully blindsided them. Um, no, there's nothing on your sheet that can help you here. Tempt to. Uh, no, there's no tempt. You do it. You, you kill them. Succeeded. How do you kill them? That's yes. what I'm asking. How do you kill them? Uh, all I have is a pole arm, so it's not really easy. Um, try to knock them out and push them in the water so they drown. Uh, you're in like they're a foot otters. of water, and they're otters. And they're not even wearing armor. <sighs> Look, you are made out of literal quills. I can do I, I it. I would say, you can't. Can just start <laughs> take out a quill, dagger. start, you know, shanking them with the quills or something. All right, Dirt's got nothing, so he does not actually blindside I them. Stick, uh, stick them, I... Stick to my pole arm, I guess. Are they distracted though? They're distracted. I mean, they are distracted, well, but he so doesn't... crush them over the head of my pole arm. Right, right, so... Freezes up. He's not used to hand to hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah right, right. That now there's personal. Right. Yeah, I never, well, I never yeah, killed yeah, anybody before. <laughs> didn't you kill that squirrel girl? No, I yes. threw her in there. No, I yes. threw her on the bridge, and then the bomb blew up. I didn't kill her. Right. He didn't kill he her. Has, yeah, he has not had any physical combat this He's entire time. Not killed anyone. So oh, why everybody's after me? So here, <laughs> so what we'll say is they all turn around and then like I freeze. Yeah, you freeze for a moment, and then you get your pole arm and you stab one of the otters through the chest. But you don't work quickly enough to kill them mm-hmm. all. So like one of them just looks down at his chest and has this sort of blade sticking out of it, this spear blade. He bubbles up blood and then slumps to the ground. And the other suddenly the boat's rocking. The other three otters are upon and on, yes. on, on, on to you guys. Excellent. All right. And you guys are charging. So um, yep. um, Nick, you yep. are storming a group. I am storming a group. All right. Do you know how that move works? Uh, let's see. Mark and exhaustion. Roll with might. Yep. So let's start hit. with that. All right. All right. So. Remember, you can't storm a group. You can describe what you're doing narratively. So, so yeah, remember, like said, you are I'm literally in. engaging all ten of these fiery dynasty <laughs> foes at once. But they are distracted because four. remember they're they oh, have no, no. grease burns and they're on fire. That's they're, why they're... they didn't shoot you full of arrows as you charged at them. Okay. So as you crunch and close the distance, you know then they, they pay attention. Oh, oh what yeah. the hell is that? No- that so the plate shaking noise. They grab spears and they grab um you know ah, spears won't. You're help vagabond. Them with this. Yeah, um, spears won't help them with this. And uh, they turn towards you. As arrows begin to fall into them, uh, yeah. Well, not his group. Oh, not his yeah, group. He was, no, group. he was going a different group. Okay, yeah. yeah. He's we'll got go his group. I was expecting Lucius to, because also I'd I hit try him. follow me and and do that, but apparently that didn't happen. And I'm not, I'm blood crazy, so uh, you're fine. See. That's plus my might, right? So ten. All right. So on a ten, choose two. All right. You show them up and inflict two morale. You keep them off balance and confused and inflict two exhaustion. You avoid their blows to the best of their ability, and you suffer less harm in return, or you use them against each other. Mark exhaustion again, and they inflict their harm to themselves. Uh, I'm going to definitely choose that one for number one, because there's a bunch of them, so they're going to inflict harm on themselves. Um... Okay, And by the way, they do... Yeah, they do two injuries. They do two injury to me. Oh. Well, that's what they do. Or that, that, yeah, okay. Yeah. 
the, all right, yeah, you trade the, harm. So right. So then yeah, all you right. could reduce it because you. Well, that's what I'm saying is, yeah. uh, and that's going to be the second thing I choose. Then is I avoid some of their blows and suffer one less harm. So then I would only ch- I would only suffer one harm then. Correct. So they start fighting back against you. Now this is where also if, since you took injury harm and it's in combat, you don't have to mark it on your character sheet. No, I have to mark it on my. You can mark my it on armor. your armor. Yep. Mm. So um, I mark it on my armor, which is why you know Skipper helped us out on that one. And then ah, you guys right, trade yeah. harm. So how much harm does your weapon do? Uh, one injury. Okay, so I will mark an injury. However, you use them against each other. You marked exhaustion again? Yes. All right, so they inflict their harm on themselves again. Correct. So they inflict a total of three injury on themselves, one from you, two from them. Okay. And they will all take it to their wear boxes. So uh, basically, you know, you're just hacking and slashing amongst them, but they have thick sh- armor as well. Okay. Um, You know, Airy Dynasty breastplates is it's very, like, you know, kind of almost old fashioned. It's like you can imagine it looks very Baroque and has all sorts of like etching. It's very like almost chivalric yeah. and knight, knightly. Um, and they all draw out their long swords. And then there's a ferocious swirling melee with Vance in the middle of it, swirling around left and right, fighting um, the Airy Dynasty, uh, claw- clawing back and forth as another group, um, a slightly smaller group, but basically about seven or eight of them start coming in. And that is what uh, you were shooting at. There. I would love, sorry, t- tangent. Yep. All right. Imagine if this our little show Actually here happens. was a cartoon. Oh my god. <laughs> but this but, this would be epic. Right? Absolutely. And it's a cartoon and like the characters are like the AI are, you know, like they're all drawn and they're animated, they're fighting. But every now and then it shoots to like a real life scene and it's just like a badger like beating the shit out of some birds. <laughs> 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 Honey badger, don't give a fuck. <laughs> That would be fun. That would be absolutely. like a hilarious show. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Anyways, okay. So actually, uh, all right. So there's a group closing in. Yeah. Uh, they are basically trying to merge with Nick's thing and take it from a small mob to a medium mob. Okay. Which means they'll, they will do times three damage. All right. Well, I'm going to harry them. All right. Unleashing a flood of arrows, making it impossible for them to continue. Got it. All right. That is a six. That is an eight. Perfect. So what nice. happens on an eight? Okay. Uh, uh, choose one, inflict two morale or pin and block. They are pinned and blocked. All right. So nothing okay, happens nice. to them, but right. they basically stop in their advance and give you more time as they start taking cover. You know, you hear like one of the sort of, uh, airy sergeants squawk out, you know, find cover, take cover. And you can suddenly see like the airy dynasty is kind of like scattering. We're being invaded. They're like, the, someone goes like the otters or the, someone goes the cats. <laughs> no. The Vagabonds! <laughs> <laughs> they know the real threat. <laughs> now, Derek, these guys are soldiers, right? Oh, no. Aaron, these are the same guys that you harried before. Oh, they know. <laughs> they know. Okay. <laughs> the ones you, you unsuccessfully harried. Or no, was no, it? I oh, no, he, he ran away. No, he yeah, drove he them like, off. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. They fear my arrows. <laughs> right. They, they know. They, they might Not take morale they damage anyway. They, they might take morale. <laughs> I'll mark a morale damage. Just <laughs> Your reputation of, precedes your you. Your reputation literally. precedes you, literally. Especially in this town. Especially in this mm-hmm. town, yeah. I recognize those arrows. Those come from Pepe Le Pew. They're really good at killing children, <laughs> um, <laughs> which is awesome in this town. Get the kids out. Get the kids out. Now, these that guys are soldiers, right? Yeah, these guys are trained soldiers. That so they problem. are led by officers? Uh, yes, they are Ooh, led by I like where this is going. distinctive. Sure, yeah, they've got a big, like, you know, feather. You know, like, they're like peacock the feather feathers. Caps, you know, so. they got a big, they got a big... All right, uh, Socks is going to start going Patriot and start assassinating <laughs> down the chain of command. <laughs> is this another trick shot? Yeah, we trick shot. <laughs> right. Meanwhile, on the boat, yes. all right, three uh, river otter brutes have drawn their curved dagger. Well, four. Save me, Lucius. One is dead, and the other ones are lunging towards you to kill you guys. So what are you doing, Bob? Uh, obviously, I am going to, um, I am going to try to disarm him. Okay. Uh, there's one target or all three? I mean, it's a, it's a ferocious melee yeah. on a rowboat. I'm going to try to disarm them and take them out. <laughs> yeah, my idea wasn't to kill them. I mean, he killed one, but. Oh, he definitely my, killed Yeah, my idea, I didn't think that it wasn't going to kill the lizard cult, but, okay. I, you know, first idea is disarm. Now, keep in mind, you can disarm one of them. That's right. So. Hey, Bob, how, how do you feel about the lizard cult betraying you? Oh. They're just misguided. So they're, they're young. Are you sure you want to disarm? You don't want to start blessing them? All right, Bob. Conversion. I will. <laughs> when you target a weapon, when you target an opponent's weapon with your strikes at close range, mm-hmm. roll with finesse. On a hit, they have to mark two exhaustion or lose their weapon. Zero. Uh, eight. Ooh. All right. They will mark uh, two exhaustion. Sweet. That one will mark two exhaustion, right? Uh, correct. They're a group. Okay. It's a group. Oh, it's a group. Okay. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. You guys are better than this. The real. For the worm, though, enemy is out there. The non-believers. 
They are not wearing any armor, though. That's right, because we are sweet and robes. <laughs> they were just running the boat. They're, <laughs> They're not actually they wearing the robes. <laughs> um, they, they, you lost your ranking. They look at you and they say, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and Bob, they, they, stab, they start stabbing at you. You take one injury from their attacks. All right. Stab, 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 stab. stab. Um, Artemis, ow, so ow, you, you're ow. still, the guy is kind of stuck on the end of your thing. He kind of slumps to the ground. The other ones jump on Lucius. Lucius tries to parry them back. Um, there's a ferocious melee. They're like grabbing each other's wrists. They're struggling. And then they, you know, struggle eventually, marking exhaustion, but then break their way free. And they all begin kind of like stabbing into Lucius. You see him rolling and trying to do his best on the edge of the boat, but uh, he gets cut a few times, takes some damage. What are you doing? We'll try to kill another one. All right. Ooh, now, Artemis, Artemis is got a taste for blood. Yeah. Artemis, you are engaging in melee. <laughs> Roll with might. Roll for initiative. Signs that things are not going well. <laughs> things that things are not going well. <laughs> the bombs. Watch her just work. like roll double net sixes and just crush somebody's face. Ooh. 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 Maybe not. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe that would not. be the opposite. What'd you get there, buddy? Four. Okay. Four. <laughs> Four. All right. So that is a that is a complete miss. Um. So that's a, that means that the I as the GM make the move. So um, couldn't pull the couldn't pull the pole arm out of the guy's body. <laughs> yeah. So what they <laughs> not used to that. You bring it up and it's like so heavy. You're not used to wielding it. It starts to like fall back. And one of the otters <laughs> kicks you in the chest, and you go sailing back off of the boat into the surf. I like am the not an otter. You cannot swim. swim. And, uh, <laughs> luckily, so you will start drowning in a foot of water. Luckily, it is only for, And then he grabs your pole arm that he kick as he kind of kicks you away from it. <gasps> He's grabs move the pole arm, you. flips it around, and just. Brings it over Lucius's head to bring it down. Oh, and this is a real shit. weapon. And he's bring, and and he's like, remember I told you guys these guys, these are, guys are strong, over brute. They just didn't have weapons Bye, before. Lucius. Now he's got something to think. Bob, all right. So uh, <laughs> I was like, I probably don't see this. No, do no, 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 not I'm at too all. Engaged uh, no, no, in my you're combat, you're so. literally one v ten tenning right. an entire squadron yeah. of of yeah, so, so, so much cooler than my scenario. Yeah. So <laughs> so Bob, you may not make it out of here. I'm just saying. So yeah. I, I'm I'm basically still gonna attack them and and. Attempt to cleave them. Uh, well, are you going to cleave them or storm them? Remember, can I? I can't storm again, can I? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, all right. Then I'm. In fact, do that. if you don't, I think you're dead. <laughs> uh, all right. Storm. Then. Storm a group is sort of the premier move Damn, for taking. I on. I thought that was only like nope. going into it. Like nope. I'm storming no. them. I mean, you should still them. you should still describe like what your character oh, is now doing. Oh, it's basically the whole flailing of everything. Yeah, Anybody I mean, that I can, I'm I'm hacking and slashing. Right. Because and and remember, like, that, like so. one of the things that you get with storm a group is like you can use their weapons against them. So it's more like one of those situations where like. You know, they stab, you dive out of the way, they yeah. kill their buddy, you grab his weapon, yeah, stab it into sweet. his buddy's mm-hmm. neck. You know, you're just like a force of nature All with right. this massive, huge greatsword just hacking and rashing your way. And of course, you have a plus three might. Oh, that's why. So I you want, are yeah. fucking amazing at Let's this. Let's do this. That's <laughs> what you were born to do. Oh, boy. Oh, that's a yeah. big number. Yeah, that's a 14. <laughs> oh, you unlock Storm of the <laughs> Mastery. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Level Nick. up. So normally, where did you get that Derek's lightsaber? Like, from? We got two <laughs> sessions left. Time to unlock some new mechanics. New mechanics. Not time. everyone might not have two sessions left. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you might have to pull a blind shot. Take take the gear right. out. In the so boat. normally, when you storm a group, you either you can show them up, and uh, depending on how you roll, you get to choose two or one. You can either show them up and inflict two morale, or you can keep them off balance and mark two exhaustion against them, or you can avoid their blows and you only take minus one harm. Or you can use them against each other, mark another point of exhaustion, and make them mark harm against themselves. Right. Now, you have mastered storming a group. This seems to come to me easily. Now. You can take all four options from the list Jeez. and Shit. choose one for double effect. Oh. So you can take no damage or you can do double damage. Correct. Oh, no. It's it's twice damage against them. <laughs> they're using them against each other because they do yeah. each other two damage. Okay. So they're four damage You to will them. have to mark exhaustion for that. That's fine. All right. And you had to mark exhaustion oh, right to use now. the ability. Yeah. Okay, so that's you've, you've mount, now you've marked at least four exhaustion in the last two moves. Yeah, that is the problem with that move. It's very good, but it requires a lot of exhaustion. You need to find someone who is in harm's way. I need, I need to go. Yeah, I need, I, I need to go save Lucius here. Apparently. So you are out of exhaustion. No, 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 no. I'm out of exhaustion. It says injustice. This is justice. <laughs> All right, so Nick, yes. what are you doing? You're getting all four options. Yes, so, so you're going to inflict two morale on two them. Two morale. Right. They're off balance, two exhaustion on them. Got it. Marked. I will suffer one less harm, so I'll take another harm to my plate mail. Correct. And then twice the damage against themselves because it's just a flurry and yep. they outnumber me and they're basically hacking and slacking, yep. slashing each other. So more they have one anything. box of wear left on their armor and then all their injury boxes. 
and between the damage that you do to them, plus them doing them you damage literally yourself, just slaughter. you literally just hack. And, now you're completely exhausted, panting <sighs> as, I mean, <sighs> in D&D. &D, so this is like, this is like a multi-minute fight. <laughs> yeah. Right? Because like, while this is happening on the boat, you know, you guys are struggling around. Like, Sox is like keeping, he's shooting arrows. You know, he said you. I, I, would probably, I would probably mark, make you mark depletion, but you said you were prepping your arrows before, so I'll give you I that. knew what I was getting into. Well played. So, um, well played. So, like, you are basically holding back an entire thing for minutes. Right. While over in the, on the beach, you are just hacking and cleaving your way through an entire squad. Which is exactly like a badger would do. I'm mm -hmm. just saying. Mm -hmm. Cutting back to the beach, uh, <laughs> the, people are, the people are pinned down, and they're not making any forward movement, but you can see... That they've got like a, a a a lieutenant or a captain who's like move forward, you chickens. Are you eagles or are you? <laughs> so, <Or> fowl? <laughs> yeah. Do not let this. Do not let this raccoon tell us who is. We are the lady. <laughs> 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 uh, maybe not. All right. Well, that's a seven. All right. Okay. So what do you get on a seven? Uh, do you get to choose two, right? On a seven or nine, no, choose two. two. Oh, you do get to choose two. Yeah. Yep. Um, Just two. All right. Um, Did the mark wear on your item? Uh, yeah. Yeah, mark wear. Yeah. It is the the metal bow, so I assume it has more wear, but we never that actually we never actually describe it. But yeah, it probably has like four boxes of wear. Yeah. I mean, I have four and you have boxes to mark, of wear. Technically, to mark wear every time so. you use it. Yep. So, yeah. Um. All right. So yeah. So your um shot lands in any target of your choice within range. So you hit the guy. Yep. And then um, it either uh, distracts him, or it breaks something, or knocks something over, or uh, you know, or we'll say cause damage, basically, because you're trying to shoot him, basically. Yeah, I'm basically trying to assassinate their officers. Okay, so. sounds perfect. Um, all right, well, um, it's a trick shot, so I'm gonna say his armor doesn't apply, yep. and you're, <laughs> and it just it goes like right through the visor in his helmet, and he just flumps to the ground dead. Yep. Um, <laughs> yep sounds about I'll mark, right. I'll mark another morale <laughs> <laughs> damage on the squadron. Um, who are kind of like, you know, a little bit hesitant. Um, and they, they also look... take a morale hit because they just watched 10 of their friendly eagles just perish by one badger. Well played. The combination of his uh, slaughter of the coat and then you being who you are and the reputation preceding you and then killing their officer, the airy squad breaks and starts. I give them a couple encouraging shots, but I let them go. Got it. Okay. So they start running back Going. into Sundown. Meanwhile, back on the surf. Yeah. Um, so, Bob, this guy's about to kill you with a spear. Um, what do you do? I, I was thinking about trying to beg for my life, but I, I think this is... I, I, I think, that ship has sailed, dog. That <laughs> ship has right. sailed. I was like, if he was just grabbing it, maybe no. I could beg for my life. But it's my already favorite coming part down. about all this is all this is just the natural consequences <laughs> of every choice Bob has made this entire campaign. That sounds actually very... Like, bad. you and I aren't even here, like like, doing anything. We're actually, like... Doing well, the I, adventure or whatever. I, 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 would, I would like to think, like, after that, like, <laughs> killing all them, they run off. I turn back to look to see, and I just see that going oh, yeah. there. Oh, and yeah, I'm like, for sure. shit, and start running, but I'm now, not I'm making it there in time. You're man. not making the it. The move I was supposed to use last time, which I couldn't actually use disarm, um, is because they're special moves. It's actually parry, which is the one I do have. Okay. Um, Are you going to attempt to parry this attack? That's what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm gonna right. to when you try to attack. parry the attacks at yeah. enemy close range. I have to mark exhaustion, mark exhaustion, but I have... Hilt guard, which lets me mark wear instead of exhaustion. Okay, perfect. When I use this weapon. So, so. mark, you have to mark the wear there on the parry. Yep. Um, mark exhaustion, roll with finesse. On a hit, you consume their attention. On a 10 or higher, you get to all three of these. Yeah, on a 7 through 9, you pick one. You better roll high, man. Yeah, I know. All you right. better roll I have high. Plus, plus zero on this. You better roll high. Oh, eight. eight. All right, Bob, so you pick one. I'm assuming you're going to say you don't suffer any I harm. I do not suffer any harm. hundred <laughs> percent. Really? All right. So the massive, um, the massive, uh, you know, uh, uh, spear is a, a pole arm is above you. And then it starts to thrust down. And then Lucius pulls out his parrying dagger, kick, hits the end of it at the last minute as he kind of spins to the side. Lucius, you fall off the boat into the surf oh. um, as, um, oh, good. as you kind of roll out. <laughs> well, no, you're still right there. Um, and then the other two otter guards are quick with the ones with daggers are quickly uh, kind of jump into the surf after you and they're trying to grab you and Drown hold me. you under the water. Yeah, <laughs> this is, a, this and is I'm my baptism. <laughs> <laughs> baptism uh, Artemis. So can I you, use you splash improvise? down? What's that? Can I use improvise? Yeah. What's that do? Uh, improvise weapon, you mean? Improvise weapon. Yes. Uh, sure. It's a special uh, skill. Do you have it? 
or any of your do you have uh, weapon skills improvised? Yes. Sweet. All right. Very when you make nice. when you make a weapon out of the wep- improv- improvised materials around you, roll with cunning. You grab an oar. I'm gonna. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> grab a there. quill, man. You got pointy a quill, quills. Or a a shell, right? anything on the anything I can get a hold of that I can stab them with. Sure. I like use your quill. Okay. <laughs> and it's, this is using cunning. He rolls with cunning. Okay, yep. This is plus two. Let's go. Ooh. Uh, Twelve. <laughs> All right, dirt. <laughs> You reach behind you, you pull out a massive quill, which you've never used before because <laughs> but just, he's getting accustomed to battle now. It well, no, like. it's just it's very it's very like it's very like root, you know, it's almost very like um shameful to like for him to use mm. the quill. Um I can okay. see that. I and can see that. you stab the otter guard through the neck um with your quill as he kind of uh, slumps down over the edge of the boat. Um and now there's only the one guy left in the surf with Lucius. The pen is mightier than the sword. There we go. <laughs> very nice. Uh, Lucius, what do you do? Like the guy seems kind of he was trying to come kill, kill you. Then Artemis out of nowhere pulls out one of his spines, stabs the guy in the neck. I mean, in my opinion, this guy's not a vagabond. I f- I should be able to drown him instead. If there's only one. Well, yeah, you could grapple him. I'm gonna grapple. So you can grapple right, him. Well, with, Grapple's not a. Uh, it's yeah, grapple an enemy. Okay, roll with might. <laughs> Great, another zero. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, four. So uh, yeah, yeah, he puts you right back down. Yeah, so Bob, you go to, you try the little fox vag vagrant tries to grapple the huge hulking otter, which we've definitely established. He sucker punches you so hard, <laughs> you feel your soul leave you. Like, <laughs> like Possibly it, for real. It's right in your solar plexus. I have a soul? Bob, <laughs> it's Bob, the soul just, of the great worm. Bob, dude. he just crushes you, and you take two exhaustion. Oh, two exhaustion. Yes. Which gets transferred to injury after exhaustion? It does not. If, so you run out of, if you have to mark a fifth exhaustion, you don't have any. Then you fall. You're out. Uh, you're I'm unconscious. Out. So he knocks you out right, so, into the water. Uh, yeah. So he knocks you out. You fall uh, in the water, and he puts a big paw right on your chest and holds you under. And okay. I'm I'm Let's... running back because I see this at this point. Uh, yeah, you, you figured did. it was coming. You but knew it was you're, coming. You're not running anywhere with that exhaustion track. <laughs> I, I I have I have four you, exhaustion, but oh, I, you, okay. no, you're not maxed out. No, he is maxed out. I am maxed oh. out. Okay. But, yeah, <laughs> the book says you can barely like hold oh, yourself up. Oh, so like okay, I'm like, <laughs> no, 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 worse. Yeah, you're you're struggling. Like you can imagine, like the sword is dragging behind you. In fact, Nick, you might. Lucius, you might, you're dead. Hmm. Um, I'm still there. Yeah, he's um, still there. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. You're you're close enough that you see it. Okay. Lucius, <laughs> no. All right. So uh, the guy's holding him down. He's gonna kill him. <laughs> Artemis. He turns to you. What are you gonna do, you little freak? Jeez. Click, the same thing I did to your other two buddies. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna be blindsided. Or shanked in the dark. Let's go, little man. And he takes a step foot off of Lucius, who's still okay. unconscious in the water. So my quill. And he's he wants to engage with you. And I point over. I go, it's not me. It's what he's going to do. Hopefully distracting him. And then I can stab him. As, I, as he you looks use, over at, look at, me he looks over look at, at Socks. Okay. I was like, that's why I would scream, Socks, shoot him in the face <laughs> like everybody else. I just wanted to just try to distract him for a minute so I can... Um, and he's just, just in. ready with a bow drawn. Uh, when you attempt a roguish feat to blind si- uh, side someone, roll with luck instead of cunning. They're all cunning. Well, it's gonna be luck. That's not Seven. too bad. All right, Seven. so um, you can get a sneak attack on him. However, you are going to uh, plunge yourself into further danger unless you mark an exhaustion. I can do that. All right, mark exhaustion. All right. Well, damn, Artemis. Uh, Artemis taking care of business. Look at you, Artie. Someone is. Artemis is good at killing people. <laughs> oh, clearly. Um, Look, this is well, only, I won't kill three people in my entire life. The otter, was sm- <laughs> the, otter, the otter was big, but not smart. Um, <laughs> the bigger they are, the harder they fall. That's right. Um, he looks up. He looks to the side and looks back, and you're there with, you know, you you Arya Stark him. You, <laughs> oh, yeah. You drop the quill. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's so good. <laughs> and uh, the otter sort of, uh, you know, looks incredulously, and he, you... And he falls to the ground. Um, <laughs> Sock shoots immediately. <laughs> so, so, Casey's crying. Oh, uh, yeah, Casey's crying. All right. Um, meanwhile, um, so the airy forces on the beach are in retreat. The other unit has been wiped out. You be- see the other boats are starting to, you know, th- make their way in here over the next couple of minutes. You finally lurch back to the shore, exhausted, at the very urge, exhausted. Pull Artemis. him out of the water. Yeah, you pull him out of the water. He's out cold. He's completely uh unconscious. Wake up, you idiot. Um, and uh <laughs> Artemis, you also are now on the shore. A little soaked for wear or a little worse for wear. What Check happened? Off my uh socks, what are you doing? Restringing my butt. Got it. So you're falling back and yeah. 
uh, taking some wear off. Sure. You take a moment to uh, to fix your bow um, while the rest of the group sort of uh, barely survives. Yeah, that was a tough tough battle. Oh, yeah, it was really tough. By the way, great job. <laughs> you and I taking on the entire army. Yeah, it sounds it would have right. better with four if someone didn't egg on the cult. Yeah, was, Don't feel so bad. It wasn't like you're going to help a lot anyway. So. I got Harry. I got Harry, too. I would have been. I got a longbow. What's your finesse? <laughs> yeah, he would have missed. Yeah. We, don't, we don't talk about that. Yeah. We don't talk about finesse. He's not good in battle, but he's good at attempting to steal he's, things. He's good at and, I mean, by things, betraying I mean us. Ledgers. I have never betrayed you. I have only the only reason we're not betrayed chaos. right now is because you got betrayed before the betrayal. Mm. Can't backstab the backstab. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you are on the edge of the sh- you're on the edge of the um uh, the beach. The otters are coming in behind you. Mm-hmm. Um, the beach is secure. You're but welcome. The, but the fight is still inside. But you guys are a little beat up. So what do you guys want to do? I don't even know what we can do. I mean, I I have my 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 herb satchel, but. Like I'm knocked out. I'm fairly healthy. <laughs> I I'm healthy, but I'm exhausted as all hell. Yeah, I don't know how we can really. I mean, but I can't really clear exhaustion. Is there ways to clear well, exhaustion without without nature? Uh, like and like, obviously this kind of yeah, stuff. I mean, obviously rest. Uh, things all like right. herb satchel. This isn't the place for the rest. Me what, what's your, are you like unconscious or no. are you awake? I am unconscious. <laughs> yeah, he's unconscious. Okay. So would can you say I up? saved his life by pulling him no, out of the I mean, water? You'd have to like do something to you know. Heal him. Dunk him in the water. <laughs> that, was, that was that was. That's how I right, got yeah, this we'll, way. We'll, we'll go back to that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like he's he was, you know. Yeah, I mean, so I had hard. two injury, but I had I technically went over my exhaustion. I had four exhaustion. I went to technically six. I guess that's not really applicable. But I go right to exhaustion. All right, or right to unconscious. I pull out some smelling that. salts from my herb satchel. Mm. You can clear an exhaustion. Clear single exhaustion. Yep. So now. Derek, do I just go down to th- yep. three? Yep. Oh, okay. So once you just go over, it's not like you, you actually add those. They just it just right. makes a thing. Yeah, so that puts them that brings them back up to sort of <gasps> So Sox grabs him, pulls him up close to his raccoon face. <sighs> I need you to not fuck us over <laughs> and to help me get the locals out of here. Will you please help me? Yes. Otherwise, I will kill you. Great worm told me the same thing <laughs> while I was dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> and now Derek, all of a sudden, you know all the. I am triggering the a move. I am pleading with Bob. Oh, oh. very nice. So Aaron is using the plead with a PC. And something by the way, that, something which, I watch Bob. So there's actually a, a writer. Oh, I know, this. I know. Yeah. Okay. So this is something I've I've told you guys. I think yeah. I might have told you on stream, or it might have been off stream. But uh, a great move that you guys never take advantage of is an ability to Until, clear one exhaustion to go along with your pulse. <laughs> but Aaron has a connection with you, Bob. He is a watcher, meaning I believe Bob oh, short did, Connor deceived Bob. Bob. Bob did something. Bob did something shady to mm-hmm. you, uh, right before you met him. Right, and thus you're always keeping an eye out from him. In right. other words, there's a kind of a cool relationship between the two of you. So because of that, if Aaron pleads with you and you go along with it, you clear two exhausts. I know this. I mean, yeah. So yes, I do. I don't, but, do I have to roll for this. Yes, no, 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 no. no, no, no. no you, no you can accept oh. or not accept because. If you accept it, it's narrative, it's narrative truth. truth. That's right. And I'm saying you have to not fuck us over and help me specifically get the, the Denzians out of here. Sounds great. All right. The okay. Denizens are my first party. They could be clear to exhaustion. Too. <laughs> All right. So clear to exhaustion. Anybody and just one? like that, you're a whole I'm new a man. Hero. <laughs> I'm a folk hero. Anybody got some more herbs? Over right. Too many tired. close calls of death. <laughs> well, <laughs> Any more? the crunch of boats starts landing around you as the otter forces begin landing. And remember, they're coming in to engage the airy forces. But you know that half of them are going to then turn to cultists and kill everybody. So what do you guys do now? I Can I? I, I mean, I have an herb satchel. Can I heal Nick? Yep. My okay, so Vance, I, I mean, I can get two exhaustion if I completely get rid of this thing. Okay. Two exhaustion on you. Because you're, you're you. fully maxed out. Yeah, I'm maxed out right You're now. my bro. I was coming to save you. It's my fault. Technically, I didn't make it to you. You know, I admit my wrongdoings here. I'm like a whole new man. <laughs> man, you really converted him in this, man. Holy no, no. shit. Converting Bob is not much of a, not very <laughs> difficult to do. Yeah, I can follow anybody. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So you actually did like have guy, a baptism is what Bob, I'm hearing. Bob is like that guy from The Mummy where he keeps pulling out all the different religious symbols. Now, now, Vance. Vance. Yes. Brother. Protector, partner. Yes. We fought together at the refuge, yes. which is not taken over by the lizards people. 
We don't know that. Lucius is going to help us save the innocent people here. The people who need to be protected. I'm out. I'm in. Help us help them. Absolutely. All right. I plead with you. Absolutely. You, you can only plead once a session. Oh, I thought only I could do it to one person. No, no yeah. It says, okay. it says once per session. Well, you get, as a, as a bonus, though, because I am his protector. That's true. I, I kind of, and because you and I are partners already, and we already have plus to the denizens that we saved from... No, I know you're good for us. Trying to heal your exhaustion. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. so uh, okay, I got you. He's trying to meditate. You should ask him to help. <laughs> ah, you should plead with me. Is what oh, I'm saying. yes, obviously. Um, please, please, like pretend can't... my words were coming from him. His more like I can't fight for shit. Please uh, help me. Yes, but the thing is, in order for it to be a, a legitimate plead. The idea is you need to be asking him something that he wouldn't do. Correct. Right. Uh, Aaron was asking you to do something you normally wouldn't do. That you've that's established very true. You, you've established that you don't care about people and that you will fuck everybody over. Yes. So Aaron asked you to do that and you agreed to it. So you can't be like, hey, will you do all the things that you normally do? That's not much of a plea. That makes so sense. So you need to like plead with him for something. Now, it could be something that is a little bit different because it's got to be a plea. Plead with me to cause chaos. No, no, no. I was actually <laughs> thinking about pleading you to join the cult. <laughs> Are you going full into the cult right well, now? Because if I join the cult, I'm no longer a vagabond, and I might as well just, I'm out. Then one session. Can we join the uh, the fake cult? I don't know, because that's actually, uh, I, I don't want, Are you starting a new sect is what I'm hearing? Mm. <laughs> a rival sect? Yeah. Well, I never mind. Fuck this. Here. And the Bob Lizard Take cult. my last healing herb. <laughs> All right. All right. Heal and exhaustion. <laughs> Never mind. All right. Is that one Too much role playing. One exhaustion or two? <laughs> it's one. Okay. I would have appreciated that. Thank one. you, by the way. Right. That's fine. Well, Let's yeah. just. Let me go talk to, I did save go your go life. Talk to Artemis and All thank right. him. We'll make he, is, your... he is part of my quote unquote family. Okay. Yeah. Quote unquote. Helped, we, we, we did some jobs together. I thought, I'm so Sorry about putting you in that situation. I, uh, <laughs> things got a little. This is how you use them? They got a little out for me. They they got a little out of control. Never liked to have blood on my hands. Yeah. I like to always do things. How does it feel? Not good. Oh. oh. I, 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 had a different, oh. I had a different feeling. <laughs> Bob's like, I get such a rush. I'm not, I yeah. only feel alive <laughs> when I'm killing I, I have thrills. So, yeah. <laughs> it checks out. Yeah. Well, I really do appreciate you helping me out there. It means a lot to me. I walk over to Artemis, pat him on the back. Nice job. We're sir. almost coming to a family here. <laughs> everyone, looks, everyone looks over at Sock. <laughs> what are you are we? say? All right. right, so what's the next target? <laughs> All right, well, uh, <laughs> follow your lead. A couple uh, of the otter sergeants kind of kind of crunch over, and they say, nice work on the breach. We're going to secure here at a, a foothold, and we're going to try to bring in some of our heavy support troops to bring in more of our uh, thing. Our advanced marine units are going to move into Sundown. <laughs> wow. We, where, where we are want they coming you all, from? Because the boat's gone. <laughs> we want you all to move. They're already out. We want you all to move in on the central uh, central plaza got it got him on the run let's keep it that way hey all yeah, right i just follow i follow uh socks if yeah. he's stringing his bow that's what i'm doing I'm doing well your bow's not strong. you used, didn't touch it so, yeah, so you don't need good. to restring it yeah, yeah yeah whatever you're doing this is what happens when you use a bow <laughs> yeah yeah i'm gonna try to do that crazy trick shot stuff that i've seen you do oh boy <laughs> oh, okay Lord. so yeah i'm gonna we, get uh, shot i, I start moving through this. town Sox is going to try to, you know, I got a loud ass badger in full plate, so he's not going to put too much stress into it. But uh, Sox is going to try to find a quiet and out of sight way to get into town. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I'll go you, with you. Would you say you're <laughs> using stealth? <laughs> to the best of my ability. Again, I have a badger. I have a badger. big plate mail, yeah. yeah I, I, I have sneak. Yeah, so. so sneak too. You know, Sox is going to lose sleep over it. But. So, no, I got it. Um, would I have to potentially roll? No. For, no. Like, Just follow the expert. <laughs> Where's that rule? <laughs> Socks is getting you in. Okay. All right. Gotcha, so, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. Socks, you're attempting a roguish feat, yep. which is to sneak your heavily armored people into town. Yep. So, go for it. All mm. right. That's a six. Dang. Anyone want to give me a hand? Yes. I also, I'm very good at sneaking. I, right. can, I, I Obviously, right. maybe, maybe, maybe actually this way a little bit. <laughs> I hold the cup. I hold the plate mail across my chest yeah. as much to try and limit the amount of shit. <laughs> it's All right. like super shiny. The birds are like, ah! So I, on can, a I could paint it yellow if you want. <laughs> so on a seven, Aaron, you guys succeed. You get into place with about seeing, seeing, seeing. However, you do draw the risk unless you mark another exhaustion, um, which is um, that uh, you draw some unwanted attention. Uh, I'll mark which, exhaustion. All right. So you guys Nobody stay completely knows. on the down low. It's a little bit tough, exhausting to move in, but the fog of war is spreading. 
Uh, the area is in full disarray. Denizens are running throughout the streets, and you guys qu quietly make your way up from the beach into the center of the town without engaging any airy troops. Now, when you get there, you can see a horrifying sight. Uh oh. The airy have corralled up a good number of the denizens. Are you, you saying they're oppressed? oppressed? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, I, I gotta get Smith out of this. <laughs> 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 He's getting giddy over yeah. here. <laughs> it's like Smith's Smith gonna win this fight, but if I can get rid of them, Nick and Bob and Dirt, they'll fuck this up. <laughs> and they are preparing to free them. Yes. Wait, who is preparing to free the them? The Aerie Dynasty is preparing to free them. Free the Dennis. Yes. Okay. To shoot them in the back? Uh yes. Oh, oh freedom. Okay. Yeah, freedom. Mm. So um, you actually see that um, the socks for version of yeah. right. Gotcha. Um, there's okay. a bunch of denizens all with their rope uh, hands tied, uh, the uh, hands and feet tied. Um, they've sort of been forced under the ground, and there's a bunch of airy denizens with uh, pole arms, kind of standing. And you could see that there is a grizzled. Oh, uh, is this white town or sorry, yeah. white claw? What Duke White Claw? Oh, but Duke. you can see that half of his face has been destroyed. Uh, and, Artemis! and and he's got and, he, and he's got Can like you blew a, him up. You blew him up, and he's got like a silver half mask on him, like he's Phantom of the Opera or something like that. <laughs> and he's only got like half a beak. It's like the Hound. And yeah, he's like he looks like the Hound, right? Yeah. He just got completely blown up by the thing, and he is basically going like full martial law, and he has all these people lined up, and is basically now they don't know you're there, right? But they're basically gonna like use them as like leverage and be like you know you're gonna let me free or i'm gonna kill all these people um but Wait, you're he, gonna what what he's planning to like use the leverage of the dentist against to, us against no against the river folk company Got he it. doesn't really know that you're here per se. are you gonna try um, to attempt to now what he doesn't know cover? is that the river folk company won't care yeah nah, i'm gonna i'm gonna fucking just go in there well because the other thing is i was gonna try to Pull out Excalibur. Are there any green silos? No, around? we gave Excalibur away. No, we gave the fake, fake one away. We gave uh, fake we do have the real Excalibur. Now, it's interesting that so that you bring it up. Uh, roll a. Uh, uh, Read a tense situation. Roll charm. But actually, you know what? Roll cunning. It's a tense situation. Uh, I like charm better. Ten. Nice. Okay. Well, that's insane. So um, I'm going to kind of ask these for you. As you go through this, okay, you can see that the airy guards are not into this. Mm. Oh, like this feels dishonorable to them. It feels shameful to them. It feels like they are this. This has gone too far. Like Duke Whiteclaw has, has power put, trip, right? Like they, 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 wanna... they do not. He does not have the loyalty of his of his birds, right? Um, you can also see that Duke Whiteclaw is very unhinged. Like not just. Physically, but like mentally, mentally, just gone. Yeah, he is just. You scarred him in more than one cuckoo way. Bird? Yeah, he's gone cuckoo. <laughs> bird. Um, and lastly, uh, you can tell that um, the uh, the River Folk Company, and I kind of already told you this. Um, they would they wouldn't care about this negotiation. They were here to drive the area dynasty out. They would. They're like socks at the beginning of the campaign. They'd be like, oh, we don't negotiate with. We don't terrorists with negotiation. <laughs> <laughs> um, so like. If if you don't do something when the River Folk Company arrive here, you know these people will be put to the sword. Right. That being said, the Airy Guards, you can see it in their faces that like they aren't. They're gonna. They're like in a. I'm they're just following. They're, they're kind of like, like a, I'm just following orders, kind of state of mind, but they're not like into this. Right. They're not like Bob. Yeah. You want Artemis. me to? I was thinking about just running out there, like as like um, a not, call as leader would. Sort of distraction, to... but also like. Well, that, Cannon fodder, but also maybe to get an opening for you. Well, well that's we, where I was going to use Excalibur to say, rise yeah. up, follow me, turn against yeah, him to try and save like the denizens we could to give that. them time to get no, free. No, we have an opportunity here. Okay. Challenge him to a duel. Ooh. Because <laughs> his men won't interfere, and if you win, we might actually get the bird's loyalty. Yeah, too. Right. A little bit. Also, does anybody have a minus two or minus three reputation with the Airy Dynasty? <laughs> yes. Uh, Artemis, Artemis is minus to everybody. Um, yeah, I'm minus one. I'm, I'm minus, minus one with two. the birds. Yeah. All right, so, Dirt, you can also, though, make a pointed threat at yeah. an NPC by wielding your reputation. <laughs> this is where if you roll, they are rattled and they must surrender, retreat, or charge. Ooh, how's you can just, say you just the, the whole place up. I'm just man. letting you know that these people hate you, but that they also are afraid of you. Right. Right. So just 
FYI. They know that it was you that blew up the tower. Oh yeah, of course he does. That's I'll why do took, it again. That's why he took all that. Uh, that's why he took all that. How's uh, the face, Dookie? <laughs> <laughs> Additionally, you can draw attention to yourself. When you try to publicly draw attention to yourself as an enemy of a faction, roll with your reputation for that faction, but treat it as positive instead. On a hit, you draw out the faction's resources to, appro- to oppose you. You better brace yourself. Um, you either choose one or two if you get a 10 higher. They will employ significant military strength to track you down. They deploy a, an available, capable NPC agent to chase you down. Or their faction is rattled by your threat, and you get to mark two notoriety with them. So just letting you know that some of those reputation moves could be a plan. But you guys are kind of off in the corner. You see unhinged Duke Whiteclaw. He's got the, the people. What do you guys do? I like your strategy. The fight, the, oh, the yeah. duel, one hundred percent. So I pull out, him. basically pull out Excalibur and scream, "White Claw, I challenge you to a duel!" Before he does this, okay. I sneak out of view, mm-hmm. and I'm going to start waiting for opportunity. I'm going to sneak to free the, the locals, denizens. The denizens. Do you Denzians. give me any signals to help, or am I kind of enamored by the duel? Uh, I would assume uh, since he pleaded with you, you you have I, to help him. Well, I know I have to free, I have to help free them, but I might not see just, him do just this. Just look for an opportunity if shit Got goes it. bad. Okay, so I kind of noticed you, but I'm like, eh, I can't really yeah. get over there. Okay, I just want to. I, know bre- what, I mean, what I'm you doing. guys see me break away. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I need to do it before he calls attention to himself. That's, and that's what I wanted to get. Where? What am I doing at this time? So yeah. So so then basically, are you breaking away too? Nope. nope. So you're gonna. So he's I'm, gonna go away, and it's gonna be the three of us when I challenge yes. White Claw to the fight. Uh oh. What? That was the actual thing. It is. There's a thing in the book, Lizard Cult uh, Lizard Cult Ceremonial Blade. And you don't have one. All right, here you go. It's probably why you they... call yourself a lizard. He master. almost got four of them. <laughs> I, I, that's the so. The sword. Blade of the Last Dynasty? Blade. Ooh. Yeah, but well, it's Excalibur. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, wow, this has got a lot of stuff on here. Holy smokes. Uh, you don't have to really worry about the legendary part. but Okay, so just the eagle craft, basically. Mark yep. where when engaging in melee to both make and suffer another exchange of harm. Right. Okay. So other than that, it's it's you know it's a it's a it's like a dueling saber. Gotcha. All right. Get so, him. All right. So you come out with Excalibur. Yes. And you challenge Duke Whiteclaw to a duel. Um, there's no move there. He's unhinged, and you're Bring challenging him, and he goes, a "Vagabond challenging my authority in my own town." Absolutely. <laughs> I'll uh, finish what we started. These otters have no. Lo- Started. Who do you think blew up the roost? That was us. You? You were part of that no good rabble? Bring it on, White Claw. <laughs> white Claw draws the White Claw. His, <laughs> his ancestral. He also then. And you hear a. Yeah, <laughs> as he does it. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, ah, refreshing low calorie. And then, and then he takes a sword. <laughs> then he takes out just some sword. Um, <laughs> Are you drunk? Maybe. Um, and Duke uh, White Claw raises up his ancestral blade and says, by the grace of my ancestors here in this field of battle and honor, will I challenge you or do I accept your challenge for Lordship of Sundell? By the power of Grayskull. <laughs> Yo! By the power of Sundell. <laughs> yeah. All right. And uh, you guys rush at each other and begin dueling, hacking, and slashing. All right. All right. Roll with engage with me in melee. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. Nice. Uh, let's see, five, four, nine plus it, my might, so 12. All right, so you, engaging in melee, get to pick three of the engage in melee. There it is. You I can either inflict one additional harm, you can suffer one less harm, you can shift your range, or you can impress or dismay your foe. He probably does some damage, so not neglect that. I would, ex- I would inflict serious harm. That's one of them for sure. I'll say suffer little harm is another one. And you do have the sword, so you- easy to impress him or dismay him. Well, and that's where, yeah, I'll yeah, I'll dismay or frighten him then at that point. Yeah. All right. So he deals two injury to you. But so you I took one. one less, so I take one. You take and one I injury. Can put that on my plate mail. Yep. And then how much damage do you do to him? So it's one. So that'd be. Too, because right. I did inflict serious harm on Got him it. as well. And so he will take that on his armor. Okay. So he doesn't take any damage. Uh, uh I should have done cleave then, if that's the case. Uh, but you did not. I know. All right. Uh, that might be the next hit. And then you impress or dismay him. Yes. All right. So what does that look like? Like basically because he was blown away by Excalibur coming in, it was shocked to be battling against the legendary blade. Got it. 
So frightened. He looks. Yeah, he looks. He staggers back for a moment. You? How? How do you have that blade? I am the worthy one. (laughs) (laughs) The people in the crowd, the birds, they see this guy fighting, but then they see Excalibur. Or and they kind of turn and they Ooh. start going over to watch this duel. Hey, and there's your yeah, sneak in. In. <laughs> I'm gonna sneak the other way then. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so uh, go ahead and sneak. All right, and Bob, that you can. A, you I'm gonna start. Five, so that is a seven. Okay, so no need, no need. Six. <laughs> Wait, no, you, you don't need to sneak. We cheated. I'm just saying, if he misses, you can help him. Got it. Because, yeah, I'm right, seven. But, but that does. D- cause a uh, downside of sneaking, mm-hmm. unless you think, which is, um, but everybody was you're going distra- to uh, super plunge distracted. into danger. But everybody was super distracted <laughs> What's the by danger. You know? Um, okay, so the danger is going to be that the parents of the kid you killed. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> They're in the group. They're in the group. Oh! <laughs> do you do you do you free them in the same way you free their? You know, son? You know what? Here's the thing. <laughs> okay, yeah. that was a different socks. This is a new nature. Oh, that nature. is true. That is true. Obviously, the mechanically smart thing to do would be mark exhaustion. Of course, but far more interesting <laughs> to just encounter them. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna let that happen. Okay, sweet. All right, so they are distracted. You guys successfully sneak. The good news is, so they're you guys probably move unarmed. over, and you guys start going into the the crowd. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm assuming cutting yeah, the cutting ropes, cutting and ropes, getting, and getting yeah. move. Go, go, go. Artemis, what are you doing? <laughs> Planting something this, somewhere. This is more of like one of those. Is there something fucked up that I should know about? <laughs> I, I was like looking around for like, is there really like a, a grain silo or anything that's like? No, you blew up everything. Everything has been nothing's flammable. <laughs> no, they <laughs> learned their lesson. Use my jury rig to try to. Didn't uh, you? You've already fulfilled. You can only fulfill a drive once a session. You can't get it you twice. You blew up the boat, mm-hmm. man. No, I know. Ar- I'm saying arsonist. You um, can only get it once a session. You can't get more experience. So, I know <laughs> that, but I mean, I <laughs> wanted. I think is our, it, it would help me. Wanted, I guess. Or uh, wanted by the everybody, anyways. That's get, true. Are you going to attempt to? So, what are you doing? Uh, are you staying out of sight, or are you doing something? Are you trying to help them free people? What are you trying? Um, to- I'm looking for something to blow up. <laughs> <laughs> Just randomly, something to light on fire. I mean, for he's sitting in the corner playing with matches. For what distraction? There's a duel to the death occurring right. with the leader of the town. Right, if something going goes great. wrong with that. I don't want him to die. I mean, the town is really messed up, man. You blew it up real good. I mean, yeah, there's like a random building you could just set on fire. <laughs> a building completely isolated by itself, and there's uh, there's Artemis. Boom. There's like a little rabbit going, <laughs> no, my cabbages. I'll, I'll, go help, I'll go help them free people. All right. All right. Um, so Artemis runs in, and um, as you guys are sort of cutting people free and they're getting out of there you're like come on go 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 and you guys can hear the river folk kind of making their way through the town you can hear the fighting occurring as they're making their way through the all the people that you snuck your way past um you finally get to a group of people and you know you cut their ropes and then he turns around and you see a fist swinging at your face sock sock yeah just take it all right no damage but yeah Mm. uh a denizen just hits you across the jaw you monster (laughs) live now hit me later (laughs) You can't go, hate me if you're go. dead. You yeah. <laughs> so the dead, true. The dead. The <laughs> Why should I ever trust a word you said? My wife killed herself. Oh, geez, this is turning <laughs> tragic. <laughs> Warning, <laughs> kids, look away. Oh, so she's married to your the parents. So, oh, oh, no, oh yeah, just, just the dad, dad now. Dad. No, this is their. I had to get a new wife. <laughs> for my remaining it, kids. It that mom. They, they are rabbits, and they, and they hate her so they much. Are they are rabbits. They are rabbits. I have seventeen new kids, <laughs> so they replenish. They're fine. Uh, well, you can't kill me here. So if you want your chance of revenge, you better go. He looks at you, gritting his teeth, and. Uh, yeah, I guess try to persuade him. Kicks you in the nuts and runs. <laughs> All right, that's a six. I punched him in the face. Socks or the, no, or the, 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 guy. the other guy? I'll get him out of here. All right, that's very good. Mark <laughs> Austin. Right. Right. Try to knock him out. He, basically, he, he to basically carry him. squares up. I'm trying he, to help. Yeah, and then he just comes in. He goes, "This isn't working." And he just <laughs> knocks him out. <laughs> I'll handle this. And then he like throws him over his shoulder and starts, you know, high tiling it what out. I was thinking, yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. As you kind of start getting him out, and you're kind of moving and rushing, and all these people, and you know. Dirt, you show up, and you guys are getting everybody out, and everybody's kind of running away from the square as the soldier guards kind of start to turn and notice that everything is happening, and like everyone's running, and then yeah. you run around the corners, and then for the second time this session, 
a group of the denizens, as you guys are kind of all rushing off, you guys kind of get separated a little bit, maybe. Well, you tell me. And a group of denizens stop, and they spin, and they throw Artemis down into an alley. Ah. I believe you are wanted by the denizens. You also killed a lot of people in this town, innocents, when you blew up I the... I thought about that after I realized <laughs> yeah, I was like, like, why are you go help them? them? And then I'm like, shit, I have a minus two. Yeah, you have Probably a minus two. Best of ideas. Ideas. That's what I thought. But yeah. can't I uh, rise up against them to try to make them to fear me or whatever? Yes, this is, this is, I'm giving Dirt an opportunity That's what to do I want to do, yes. All right, so yes, Dirt. You, because you have uh, this, you can make a... Pointed threat, Dirt. Yes. All right, Dirt. So roll with your reputation against the denizens. But before you do that, you got to do it to do it. So they corner you. There's like 10 of them, and they are going to just mob justice you right here on the spot, right? They are just going to beat you with stones and sticks. I open my uh, coat <laughs> a la the what Joker. And it's like laced with bombs. Yeah, just booby. Oh, my God. <laughs> and they might actually be real bombs. Like, we don't know. That is yeah. very true. Neither knowing, do they. Yeah, knowing him, they probably are. So you're wielding your reputation. <laughs> yes. So roll with plus two, Dirt. Eight. All right. On okay. an eight, um, they are rattled. Uh, they're, they are rattled. They must surrender, retreat, or charge. But on a seven to nine, what you got? You must make a demonstration of your dangerous intent first before they are rattled. Yeah, kind of. Must start start pulling, it. pulling on, the, on the, the, the string. Uh-huh. <laughs> Press the button. I toss it over their heads behind them. All right, and it explodes. Yes. I'm assuming. All right, it explodes, and they scatter because uh, um, their options are charge the or flee. Uh, they flee, but you've alerted the birds. There's the explosion sound, and you suddenly hear another group of airy guardsmen are kind of now they kind of realize what's happening. They're chasing down Lucius. You and Socks are kind of coming into the alleyway as you see Arnus coming in, and then now there's a group of airy guardsmen <laughs> who are coming for the denizens. Socks, you're the better shot. I'll take the denizens out of here. All right. All Sounds right. good. Meanwhile, <laughs> back to the action. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. You guys continue your crazy wild duel. All right, so um, you guys are kind of waving back and forth, and then as you kind of start hacking and slashing at him, he lunges forward at you with his uh, saber sort of stretched out. You don't deserve that weapon. And he's actually trying to go for Excalibur. So he's oh, trying no. to, like, disarm him. He doesn't disarm really him. have that move, but yes, he is trying to. So what do you do, Nick? I gotta imagine that time. I gotta try to parry that and get a, or okay. Uh, yeah, he, well, he, he himself open. Well, you, that's wait, a good point. Nick, I, the weapon does. Oh, the weapon do does. Do you have parry the weapon skill? Does your character? Yes. Your character does. Your character sheet. Yes, my oh. weapon skill. I have parry. Okay, oh, perfect. Wow. Then parry. yes, he yeah. can do it. That is perfect. This is a perfect that, use of parry. That 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 would be the only thing I can think of is yeah. to try to parry and get it out of the way, basically. Right. Yep. So go ahead and roll with it, that finesse. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, uh, it's a plus zero for me. Hey, but that's still an eleven. Oh shit! So what do you get on a ten plus Jeez. on parry? You get on all a ten three, plus all you? three. You <laughs> inflict moral or exhaustion, GM's choice. Okay. You disarm your opponent. Their weapon is out of hand, but oh, in damn. reach, and I don't suffer any harm. Wow. All right. So yeah, a he great comes, parry. He comes up. Yeah, it's. Just, I mean, it's like a super massive. I am duel. the badger. It's one of those like classic duel moments right. where it's like. My wor- name is Antonio than Montoya. killing him. You killed my father. Yeah, it's you know, humiliating. You're humili- like mocking humili- him. Now. Yeah, you like mock him. Like you disarm him. The oh, sword yeah. goes end over end, lands, and he, you know, you kind of knock him down to his knees. Smack and him the ass point- on the way by. I was gonna say, point the What's that? point. You smack him on the ass on the way by. I don't, I don't, why, why would you do that? Disgraceful to him. He's exhausting or embarrassing. Um, but yeah, no, like he, like you know, falls into the dirt, you know, and is like dragging himself up, and his mask falls Ooh. off and you just see how like badly destroyed it is and he's kind of he, he just unmasked <laughs> he's like crawling through the mud as he it's turns towards flow. you can't avoid and, and then he turns to his men and he goes kill him none of them move none of them move this I, is an honorable take, duel yeah i take the dagger and i ho- put it right at his throat sorry sorry excalibur right at his throat and just going for the kill oh okay uh, yeah Socks. There is a gr- patrol of uh, of airy soldiers it, coming down a, here. There's an honorable f- duel All fight right. death. Uh, as these two run uh, ahead, yep. Socks stops, spins, turns, and begins shooting to make these guys take cover. Got it. All right, Harry. Harry, perfect. All right, that is a six. That is an eight. So what do you Ooh. get on an eight with Harry? Uh, you get to choose one. Yes. So instead of morale, I will pin them down. Got it. All right, the arrows are starting to run free as you uh, harry again. I think you have to you mark where whenever you yes, harry. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, uh, the, the the bow is uh, you know getting worn out. The arrows are starting to drop free it's, as it's you keep got a little bit left. They did repair it. Um, their morale sort of falters um, and and a little bit, but they take cover, giving these people time to get out, which is exactly what you're trying to do. Yep. But you're left there, and you can hear more airy guardsmen are 
and, and patrolmen are moving through these areas. You're getting surrounded. What do you do, Sox? All right. Now well, Sox takes looking around, kind of grins, and uh, scampers up the building. And we've established that raccoons can climb. <laughs> Early on, in the same town. All right. So <laughs> yeah, that's true. Shooting, 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 and then you quickly climb up onto the rooftops, and it's a it's a daring montage escape of you, you know, with airy guardsmen below shooting up at you as you try to just sort of <laughs> acrobatically, sweetly get your way free. So attempt a roguish feat, acrobatics. I'm sure you have it. Yep. Yep. Oh, oh nice. nice. It's ten. a ten. Ten. I think you gain, you heal exhaustion or something? No, you get it. With no penalty whatsoever. Yeah, so Very nice. Sox is just in his environment. He's completely free, gets out as you guys lead all the denizens uh, right. out to freedom and safety. Nick, you're standing Whoa. above the defeated Duke. How's He's it? squabbling backwards. Ah, damn you. Curse you. You don't deserve that blade. Nope, fight to the death. Shoot. Yeah. You kill him. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. You can do that. There's, there's, a, no, you got the uh, narrative strength. Oh, that. it was, it was a duel. It was a, it was an honorable duel. Fight to the death, one on one. He lost. He lost. All right. You stab the duke. He shudders at the edge of the blade. Excalibur seems to gleam with the rightful transfer of power. The duke falls to the ground. His feathers go everywhere. <laughs> Poof. The airy <laughs> guardsmen turn. And, you know, their weapons were kind of pointed in at you. They put them up. They snap to attention. The Duke is dead. Long live the Duke. And they all hail and salute you. Duke Vance. Duke Vance. <laughs> yes. Just as the Riverfolk Company mercs storm um, the central <laughs> storm the central plaza. Oh, I was saying and we'll end it there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's say I, I had a lizard cult. Now you got a bag of air. Uh, uh, I got the birds. You I'm, the, the birds. I'm a duke. Guys, I'm a duke. <laughs> uh, that is true. You are now a duke. You are now a duke. Um, <laughs> all right. So you guys have gotten the den denizens free, mm -hmm. but Vance is now the duke of 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 the Sundell. For at least three seconds. But the, <laughs> at least one session. But the, Give me the, but the river folk mercenaries are now here at the central square with the airy dynasty forces. And of course, the lizard cult threat is spread. Um, not only across the entire map, but within the ranks of the river folk mercenaries themselves. Um, also, I'm sure now some of them who are more in the rear know that their boat got blown up. You not really sure like they, ticking people Not off, really sure man. who they blame that for that, but considering that you are the well-known arsonist who blows <laughs> everything up, I think your reputation And you were on it. the boat. <laughs> so we're going to go around the horn here yep. real quick. This is going to be really weird, so we're going to go with it. All right. Okay. Bob. Yes. So for Airy Dynasties, mm -hmm. uh, you take two notoriety oh that puts me at negative two dirt you take four notoriety with the airy dynasties what happens when there's nothing left to do? it just maxes out so, <laughs> you're so you're negative three negative three with okay. some extra action okay. wow socks you engaged the shit out of them this session i did let them go though you did. You did. He didn't kill but remember, anybody. Remember, this isn't about individuals. This is about like the factions' awareness. Sure. Of it. And you did. Now, I'm just saying, I killed officers, but I made sure to let the normal troops go. That is true. But you did engage and kill them. So I'm going to give you the same thing that I gave Bob. I like uh, Donnie's. That's great. Donnie's comment. <laughs> Sox gets the dead. <laughs> Nick gets the birds. <laughs> Lucius gets the lizards. And Dirt. Dirt will probably blow them all up and kill him. <laughs> so mark two <laughs> notoriety with the airy dinosaur. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm at uh, my. I like the cats. So. Nick. Yes. This Mark, is a complicated one, isn't it? It is. Mark nine prestige with the Airy Dynasties. Wow. No, remember when it gets oh, to yeah, the yeah, first so one, it stops. Now I was at negative one with them. Do I go so to zero? You then? go to zero first. Okay, so five, go to zero, and then one, two, three, four. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I still keep the notoriety. You still keep the notoriety boxes. Right. Right. It, yes. The number shift. Um, gotcha. So, like, people are kind of torn. You're now neutral because they're like, ah, I'm the Duke, you just killed our Leech Lord, but you're also the holder of Excalibur. I took, I took, I took, the, Luci I took the Lucius right. approach and killed that the leader the and took over. All right. <laughs> Believe it or not, everybody marked two prestige with the Marquis de Cat. <laughs> that, that checks out. <laughs> What do we got? I keep liking the cats because they have bad lives, and I keep blowing them up. Right, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are we um, with the cats? I'm sorry. Plus two. Two, two boxes. Two boxes, two boxes. Can you note which yeah, ones yeah, we were two. together for? Oh yeah, yeah true. The um, obviously, the dual one was yours. Yeah, we the Airy Dynasty yeah. ones on your own. Um, the Mar the Marquita Cat one is doubled because you okay. guys were okay. partnering up. No, no. Remember, it's only with the factions. So not that would not. Out. It's not double for everything. Remember, there's you helped yeah. one faction. 
What was the one that you? What was the? It was denizens and the cats. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Denizens, so cats. the cats yeah. we would okay. double. So no, cats get double. Denizens get double. Yeah. So cats does get doubled. Well, what happened with the denizens? We haven't gotten there. Woodland Alliance, nothing. Correct. They, do they also exist? they're dead? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Lizard cult. Um, nothing. I was like, yeah, I was nothing happened with me. Nothing two with two prestige. Oh yeah, you saved, you saved the guy's life. Saved the guy. He's got a max yeah, out of negatives. About an imposter in his ranks. You know how many people know about that? <laughs> what? What did I do? You tried you, eight, eight notoriety. I was gonna say you you killed you the blew otter up the ship and, and the other half, 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 yeah. half of them were lizard cult. Eight notoriety with the lizard cult and probably the others. Bob, I don't know. No. I don't know. You're an imposter. <laughs> well, because like half of them, I? half of them want to kill you, and the other ones like think that you've led them into an ambush and a trap, and then the other people think that I don't know what you're. I don't. I have no idea. Um, I think I, it balances out. I think it just balances out. Yeah. Yeah. You have notoriety Excellent. and you also have. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Lastly, denizens. All right. Uh, nothing really for you. I was trying to be the distraction to, you to were, free them, but, but they, they don't, don't necessarily know that. see they don't that. that. Yeah. But um, you guys mm -hmm. each get, believe it or not, three prestige with the denizens. Now, does his get doubled? He hasn't. I've gotten to him yet. Okay. Aaron, you gain five prestige. And. I will say, like, some of that doubles because you were with him, but only for the first part. Round, okay. round down, round up. So we'll say, like, eight prestige. Oh, okay. Because, okay. Totally. Nice. like, the stuff that was happening in the streets wasn't with him. Right. Right. So but the, the rescuing eight, them. Eight boxes. So eight boxes total. How, what are you at? Plus two, plus uh, three? Definitely plus two. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. All right. That full hero. What about... An, and what about the adders? Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. God. They, they, they don't even know. Well, I'm assuming uh, you and I got prestige with the adders because we Yeah, no, no, we did our actually, you, know what, you, know, you guys gained prestige. Dirt, they totally blame you. Uh, unforgivable <laughs> offense. Nine notoriety. Oh, my God. You blew up the pride of their fleet. Yeah, that, yeah, that sounds did. about right. And probably most of their elite crew and Skipper Magni, who uh, they thought was their pride of their... That was like, <sighs> you blew up the Enterprise with Captain Jean-Luc Picard on it. Yeah. All right, so I have a minus... <laughs> you have minus two three with everybody. everybody, except for the area dinosaur. I have minus three with, <laughs> and I have a plus two with the cat. So. I wonder who your allegiance are with. Okay, so nine and nine. Um, you guys actually gained prestige with the Riverfolk Company because you guys fought well and on the beaches and did what you were supposed to do. So they really thought that was really great. So you guys get four prestige. Sweet. Um, no. I was like, I don't even know what happened. No. Was it negative <laughs> no, again? I, 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 I'm you just didn't do anything. Out. You didn't do you anything. Were, so you, they they just like actually you kind of you kind of actually shirked on the contract. You didn't help fight. So uh, they kind of are mad about that. Mark one box of notoriety. You don't get paid. All right. Um, just stole that gold. And uh, there we go. Okay, we want to go through our drives. We'll go through our drives. Uh, who? Any, it, I'm ready. Yeah. Uh, the only one I got was thrills this time. Uh, okay. Advance when you escape from certain death or incarceration. All right. Literally so, escape death. Sounds good. All right. Wanted. Yeah. I had yep. the denizens try to kill you. Chaos. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> so double advance for dirt uh, for Artemis. Single advance for um, Lucius. Vance, what do we got for you, buddy? Protection probably didn't apply because I didn't get to you in time in that one to save you. And it has to be, you know, because name your ward. So right. That right. That. that I yeah. think the thing with protection is it's not just anybody, right? Right. It says name, name your, your ward. ward advance when you protect them from significant danger or when significant time passes and your ward is safe. Right. Yeah. No. In fact, actually, he was in danger most of the fight and you actually did a horrible job again. Yeah. Well, he was supposed to follow me. And yeah. <laughs> okay. um, but then I well, do have the. Shanked. He kind of got shanked by lizards. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. It happens. Or it's like a different day. Sure. Otter shank happens. Otter lizards. L lazards? Lazards. Lazards. Uh, uh, and then lazards. the esprit de corps. Okay. What's on that one? That's the one where um, if you win a battle. Uh, with your friends and 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 um, allies, you you advance. Okay, yeah, well, you definitely did that. Yeah, you yeah for led, sure. You led the advance and sort of the spirit to court. So you get one advance. Socks. Woo. What do we got for you? Uh, folk hero and uh, freedom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Double double <laughs> no, advance from socks as well. <laughs> did not happen. The no. hero actually not actually all. led people to freedom. This <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I learned slowly. <laughs> Slowly <laughs> learning to. You really evolved over the course of this adventure. Well, Derek, you want us to have character arcs. So. All right. So uh, we, we will have another session, it sounds yeah, like. We will have one more session. So the Sundell. The Duke is going to rule all. I'm telling you. What right is now. arsonist again? You light something on fire. I think it's in the core. It's in the core under the. Um, Sundell is um, 
now, of course, the focus of the entire campaign. The lizard cult has spread. The once proud Airy dynasties has been reduced to a fraction of their strength. The, Mer- the Riverfolk Company has lost the pride of their fleet. And now all eyes turn to Sundell, where next week we will basically determine what happens. Do the, do the, does the Riverfolk Company manage to survive the Lizard Cult betrayal? Does the Lizard, does the lizard Cult take complete control of Sundell, kill everyone, and, you know, rule a, a, a new uh, empire of religious extremism in the woodland? Nah, Duke Dance is taking over everyone. Does, yeah, the lizards Duke, look like they want it. Does Duke, does the new yeah. Duke of Sundell lead a, a new Airy Dynasty revolution? I'm the new um, ruler of the And of woodlands. course, what is going to happen with Lucius and his loyalty to his friends and to his decisions? And will Artemis's horrible array of crimes finally come back to bite him in the ass? Uh, Arch in his clear exhaustion track when he used needless destructive damaging methods to yes. solve a problem. Yep. So he was he was thinking arsonist was his drive, not his nature. Mm. So it's just his nature. He was he's an arsonist, which is just a nature. Would Correct. Get to clear uh, my exhaustion track then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Several you, times. By the way, you can do that every time that. Happens. I was gonna say. Yeah. So then, would you say my defender clear exhaustion track when you put yourself in harm's way to defend someone against injustice or dire threat? Would you say the mm-hmm. denizens? Oh yeah, yeah. the duel. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. Uh, what about that time where uh, the party <laughs> ran away and I was by myself and I had to engage with the uh, birds? I don't know. It's a very loner thing to do. That's right. Oh, I would say so. Gosh. I would absolutely <laughs> say so. He said the name he of the thing. Lo- no, he said he, the name he of the lo- thing. <laughs> lo- um, and so yeah, so we're at a really cool ultimate point because really, what honestly, what happens here and the 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 between the river folk and the airy dynasty and the lizard cult secretive members and obviously the people who are going to really kind of determine what happens are going to be these four vagabonds yep. and we'll see what happens what the fate of the woodland is because remember while next week will almost certainly be our finale for mm-hmm. this first season there is every possibility that sometime in the future we'll come back and revisit this woodland just you know maybe <laughs> Duke Vance will rule yeah, maybe, what's maybe left of it and it'll be a new group of vagabonds or or you know yeah, maybe what we'll likely do is we'll talk to our patrons and see if that's something they want us to get back right. into so if you are not part of that patreon right. how do you get a part of that well you can take a it look since at- Eight of you are bots, and the other two are actually members of Patron. And George. Just, and George. Tell us, George, what George. do you want to see, George? Uh, but yeah, like, uh, you know, part of the fun of our Patreon is that we uh, basically don't really worry about views. We don't really worry about. Clearly. Uh, clearly. <laughs> there's, um, there's George. Oh, uh, there he is. Beep boop. Um, Beep boop. <laughs> <laughs> let's put it this way. Um, when, you, when, you, when you take it all in consideration, and this is even including time, when you think about the lights, the camera, the audio, the tables, the set, the lights, the windows, the decoration, the rent, everything that has gone into just making this show, um, I have probably spent more money on the making this show, not not my channel, just mm-hmm. like right, root, just the root, just root, root the show, than root the show. Most YouTube channels that have you know hundred thousand subs mm-hmm. spend. Well, in, they buy an iPhone. Yeah, they buy an iPhone. So my point is, we don't care about that. Um, the reason why I don't care about that is because I have an incredible, amazing Patreon, which incredible patrons who support everything that we do. Um, they uh, tell us what they're into, what they're interested in, and we try to respond to that. When they get excited about a game, usually we end up getting excited about a game, and sometimes that game ends up making it to the table. Um, and really what this entire community is about is about exploring games together. And, you know, rather than just, playing fifth edition D D over and over again we like to experiment we like to do pathfinder there, 2 there are other like games to, out there we like to do mm-hmm. root you know we want to try some other games you know be, beyond uh, just this and that's part of the reason why this structure of this campaign is set up this way is that it allows us an opportunity to try i mean i didn't even know what pbta was i just was playing D D and pathfinder right and then you're like you should i played blades i think and then i played dungeon world and then i just started getting into more of them like l5 hours not pbta but like other types of games you just, all of a sudden my I'm actually dabbling a, in a bunch of things now. It, it can actually be a blessing and a curse because then you end up with so many it's games many that you want to play. You want to play all these games. You play all these games. Oh, um, well, that's when you have, oh, what's coming up next year on August 22nd? <laughs> uh, that's right. Um, and if you're also a member of the Patreon, that's the best way if you're interested in getting to know this group, this amazing community. We are going to try to put on a mm-hmm. convention next year um, at the end of August or early September. Uh, Nightcon 1 
And we're doing that in the hopes of just being having a, have a, able to have an opportunity to just sit down and play a bunch of games with yeah. some of our favorite people. Yeah, some of we've already met at like Origins or Gen Con, and you guys are amazing. Yeah, and uh, we got to play some games, but I want to play more games. Absolutely. Yeah, um, and that that is definitely something that I I'm looking forward to. I mean, selfishly, if if I throw a con. I'm I'm just, just going to go there to game. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> at the other two conventions, you bought enough games to actually try to play. So, so, so real talk. <laughs> uh, I was actually uh, daydreaming today a little bit about, well, because I've been looking at the results that we've been getting from the, you know, we have a planning survey. So again, if you're a member of the Patreon and you're interested in uh, Nightcon or you want to make your voice heard uh, in the announcement channel, in the convention planning channel, you will see a post about the convention. We don't have a lot of details yet because we're still trying to figure those out. Yep. But um, there is a survey that you can fill out that helps us understand the uh, what times work for best for you, what price points work, work work best for you. Because again, we want to find the right thing. But um, I was having, I was having a uh, sort of a daydream where I was like, oh man, a four day con. I was like, oh, I want to run a four day like which I got to play in Monster Hearts. I want to run Hearts. a four day oh, Monster Hearts. I knew one oh. for every year of high school. Right. And there's some patrons right. that would be all right. about freshman that. year. Freshman year, sophomore year, junior year, senior year, and just basically run like a four shot, which I, I, again, I don't know if that's even an official way of doing it, but that is how some, like my second or third time playing Monster Hearts, that's how somebody did it for me um, at uh, Gen Con. And it was so amazing because you really got to, yeah. it, it felt so right to have like the four sessions be the. Yeah, especially like you go to sleep, you wake up the next day, it's, it's sophomore year, you're like, man, this is kind of cool. Like, right. That's, that's really um, cool. So it was really, really, really fun, really, really awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, like that's something that, Honestly, I couldn't do anywhere else except at a place like that. So really looking forward to that. What do we got? Casey said he accidentally wrote an essay in the tell us a little more section. <laughs> I don't know which one. Oh, his okay, was. I haven't gotten to all those yet, but, you know, that's good. I, I made it a paragraph on the uh, option on purpose, not mm -hmm. short answer, because I wanted to hear from people. I mean, I, some people wrote a lot. Some people didn't write a lot. You know, some people were like, I'm not fucking sleeping in a bump bag, you know, like. I yeah uh, I put I I I was like I'd stay off campus if I had to, if the bunch was any of the above. <laughs> um, I just so, want to be there. I mean, again, I I do want to make sure that there's like price points for all sorts of different people. Um, you know, but obviously, being a small group, scale is not on our size. So you know, like we we're either gonna have to do oh, something. This could simple. be the start of something amazing. It could be. You yeah. know, and who knows? I mean, or it could be the first and only. It could be, it could be <laughs> the, the first and last. Yeah, the first that, and last. The church will definitely say the, the first nice and last con. <laughs> first and last. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, but yeah, um, uh, really, really excited about it, and and that's just example of the type of thing that we do because of our Patreon, mm -hmm. and you know, otherwise this YouTube channel wouldn't be anything really. So we we owe all our thanks to that. And again, if you found this channel and you really like this uh, AP and you're enjoying this system, I recommend you you check us out. Patreon.com slash Night's Last Call. Interesting, uh, Whitney here. I really want to catch a meaty story character driven TTRPG game from the beginning to end. I mean, that I, that seems to be what we we're kind of doing here, too. Um, Root's pretty good with that. Yeah, I mean. And we have, five, this is not really long. You don't have to like. Well, I mean, that's the best part. I mean, yeah. most of our shows have been under three hours. Yeah. So you you're have 100 EPs on you're, our you're, episodes. So. You're talking about six episodes mm -hmm. when it's all said and done. So under 20 hours, you know, and um, yeah. I know we're trying to look into Fabula Ultima, too, because that's like pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of great, amazing games that I want to get uh, to the table. So, all right. Um, well, thank you, gentlemen. Yes. Speaking of which, awesome. if you want to vote for the next game, patron. Oh, yeah. The patrons are definitely going to be the ones who are going to be deciding what we play next. 100%. You know, we're going to wrap up. We might take a little bit of a break and then... Probably do some nightlifes or something we'll like that. We'll probably do some nightlife, some casual hangouts, and then, you know, we'll be back in here for a different type of game. I mean, that's what we built this yes, set for. Yes, that's I what mean, it is for. <laughs> the dungeon. I mean, I, I, I know it sounds crazy, but, like, this this is why I know I'm, like, a gamer gamer. Because, like, after playing... We've been playing some Fabula Ultima lately, the last couple of weeks. Fantastic game. Night Absolutely frosty. fantastic. Been playing this every week for the last five weeks. Fantastic game. I'm like, man, I want some minis and some dungeons. Uh oh, <laughs> you know. AV. And so we're That's playing. Right. We're, we're playing Pathfinder Two this Friday for our Friday night game. We're playing Abomination Vaults. Yep. And I'm super stoked for it. Same. Just because I'm like, oh man, it's gonna be fireballs. Yeah, I want those fireballs. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I, I love that as much as I love this narrative game where you can actually have like cool story moments and like the, the rules don't seem to like fuck you when you try to do something cool. I uh, know. I've been looking forward to it for weeks. Like, like I'm looking forward to playing my overpriced mini. And that's right. Yeah. We can bring him back out. And then, uh, you know, watching Bob break everything because he's a kinesis. Actually, watching Bob not know how his I was going to say, I, I was like, I don't <laughs> have to bring it. I have to, I have to figure out how to play it and then fail at trying to figure right. out how it's to gonna play be, it. It's going to be a disaster. But it's going to be fun. It'll be great. It'll yeah. be great. 
So, uh, yeah. And then Donnie, if you're watching How These Torches. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know if Donnie's even seen him yet. I don't know. I know he was in the chat. Uh, I don't know if he uh, still is, but uh, I know to he's be been fair, really wanting it. <laughs> we, we, I, uh, I'm trying to see if there's one that I have with it. Yeah, so yeah, I, still, I still need yet. to get oh, lights. There he is, yeah. I still need to get lights in the windows, the mm. upper windows. Like, oh, the little, the little, uh, the you heard it here. We need more them. lights. <laughs> <laughs> I was originally like, no one will ever see them. It won't matter. But now that we have this sort of wide shot, you know, oh, yeah, we're yeah. not in costume next week. That's right. Yes. Oh, yeah, we're not. That's right. We mm-hmm. do not hit the typical. So we get oh. Derek, Derek, you have somehow avoided what I, I thought was going to be inevitable. I dodged the bullet there. I so. did. I was thinking also because one of the couple of my coworkers do like Halloween stuff and Halloween's come up. I'm like, I guess I have a costume. <laughs> I actually could be a fox for Halloween this right. year. There you so go. You go as a fox. Yes. Stacy goes as a question mark. What, what does the fox what say? The fox mm. say? Come on, man. See, yeah, I guess so. I mean, I don't know how clever your friends are. We are not. <laughs> <laughs> One year we did go, I went as a chef, and Stacy went as an oven, and as- she was pregnant. And uh, so in, she pulled the oven open. It was just like a sticker art. And then there was a bun. And then she had like so a then, like a live image of a fetus. No, it was <laughs> just a bun. We did go to um, the Comic-Con. And she, uh, when she was pregnant, different times she was pregnant. Uh, and she had a torn off white beater. And she had a green shirt underneath and said like, like Hulk, like uh, Hulk or she Hulk. Because we didn't know the sex. And they were like, it was like bursting through obviously her belly. So that was pretty cool. Right. So she's a little more clever than I am. All right. Well, there you go. Yeah. Um, I thought <laughs> I was like I went as a chef. She went as Boyardee. Wait, That's uh, what I was thinking. <laughs> I don't know. She went as a right. one in the oven, basically. Donnie did see it. So uh Thank oh, you, Donnie. You know, again, you know, fun uh again, I know it's just little stuff, but we love making this, you know, pretty cool. But um I did put my lizard mask on. That yes. is true. Thank you, Nick, for <laughs> although it technically, yeah, is a uh, blue from uh that's a lizard. Jurassic Park. Yeah. Um, although it was really appropriate because, you know, th- there was massive lizard hysteria. Oh, this, yeah. Uh, this particular game. Yeah, lizards are winning at the moment. So. Oh, they're killing it right All now. All of our efforts uh, did absolutely nothing because the lizards just showed up. To be fair, those those towns... Sounds were pretty messed up, anyways. You know, I mean, most of those were not yeah. that we haven't under, visited. Most of those were them. firmly under the the, the the grasp of the Erie Dynasty. Yeah. All right, everybody. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. Um, I'm going to be back Thursday. There is a good chance that Thursday could be our Call of Cthulhu stream. Well, I have to. Oh, Ben. Ben, yeah. Well, that sounds pretty. That 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 I would tune into, even though I do not really want to play Call of Cthulhu ever. Right. Uh, it just sounds like it'd be interesting to listen in. I agree. So, um, yeah. hope hopefully, uh, uh, I gotta double double check a couple things, but yeah. Oh, there, there's Ben. <laughs> uh, hey, it's <laughs> he Ben. Out here. Hey, Ben. So, hey, Ben. Bye, Ben. Bye, Ben. Ben, <laughs> I I got Friday off, Ben. So, um, because I figure. Good job. Uh, ben uh, Ben can't make it till eight o'clock, so it'd be mm. kind of a either a late stream or or we'll start early and then he'll join in. And uh, but it's Call of Cthulhu, it'll probably take us a couple hours. So oh yeah, I figure we'll probably be going you know ten eleven o'clock. So I I was like you know let me see if I can get off and that yep. way I don't have to get up and attend the meetings or anything like that. So um, Ben says let's do it. Awesome. So oh, Thursday <laughs> we are going to I am going to basically be learning the rules. I have a managed to avoid. In 30 years of playing role playing games, going to 20 Gen Cons, I don't know, 18 I don't know Origins, how you did that. I have never even sat down to play Call of Also, Cthulhu. didn't you like not own a book until just I now? didn't even own the book. Yeah. I, ne- I, I own books of games I'll never play or I never win. I've never owned Call of Cthulhu. I've never played Call of Cthulhu. I've never looked through the book of Call of Cthulhu. And I'm curious, have you? No. I didn't think so. But I have read some Lovecraftian. I like the the world you, setting. You you like more horror kind of yeah. than me. Yeah. Wait, but but again, it was just something isn't that Lovecraftian never... Isn't different than horror? It's, it's cosmic, cosmic horror. horror. Yeah. yeah. Actually, there's a great stream with Derek and uh, Ben uh, who <laughs> go over to this types of horror. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I, that was one of my favorite streams. Vin uh, was on that one. one. KC yeah. is also yeah. off Friday. Late night stream. Oh. Yeah. Um, and uh, since, uh, Donnie says we need to turn in our nerd cards. I know it. You know what? It just it was never something that yeah, we just never got around to it. We we we, we liked heroes and I they, mean like like back in the nineties, you and I looked at like Delta Green, but that was like the closest we got. Delta Green was the closest we ever got. Yeah. Yes. We uh, because I loved X Files. Right. And uh, Delta Green was kind of like X Files Cthulhu. Yeah. And um, I don't know if it used the exact same rule engine, just a variant. But I remember I remember almost wanting to play Delta Green. Right. Like we almost played it. Yeah. Something yeah. we just third edition came out or something. I don't know. Pretty, you know basically. Like yeah. Well, we, we um, saga in the third edition. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dragonlance Saga was yeah. a big thing for us. Yeah. Too. Well, we're just big fantasy nerds. I mean, to be honest, right. we haven't played a lot of sci fi either. Correct. 
you know, a lot of people, oh, Star Wars. Star-. We haven't really played a lot of st- sci-fi, yeah. cyberpunk. We've really stuck to the it's, fantasy. We've yeah. played a lot of different fantasy that. games yeah. and a lot of different fantasy genres. Yeah. But, like, oh, lately, even now, after 30 years of being role players, like, we're t- start trying new genres. Like, yeah. I was surprised at how much I liked the Traveler rules. Right. But that and, was our first real deep dive with it. Like, yeah. we fucked around with it, but we never got serious with it. Correct. Correct. So then you guys oh. bought a hundred books. <laughs> oh yeah, we own a shit ton of traveler. That's so. uh, but like, cause like like Derek bought a bunch of traveler and he didn't tell anyone. I bought a bunch of traveler. I didn't tell anyone. Kaz, George, George, did. Kaz, and then like we're standing there at Origins and we're like, do we all just buy like nine books of traveler? Yeah, each one of you like. Pull it like a, a stack of yeah. just travel that you all bought. Oh, I bought it too. Yeah. yeah. And then you guys played just recently. And we ordered more on Amazon. Well, yeah, we, we more like, we did a big session zero where it yeah. took a long time because none, none of us knew the rules, you know? Yeah, so yeah, it was yeah. like a really, really painful right. process because none of us knew what was going and, on. And funny, uh, someone posted it in uh, our Discord yet, part of weeks ago now, but um, I picked up the uh, fantasy version of Traveler because I actually like oh, Traveler. Yeah, it's a, called Sword of Something, start, Sword of Sea. Someone in chat will. I'm f- sure Ben will know it. Cephalon or something. I don't know. But it's uh it's cool because it's fantasy, uh so you don't have gear porn you have magic porn instead, mm-hmm. uh but you have uh uh the life path system still oh cool so like you can die in character creation you know because like orcs attack and kill you right you got know? it so, got it or you got a plus two to your melee skill because you survived or correct whatever. Yeah. yeah so like you take different careers like you know barbarian cleric you know yeah oh, it's sweet. cool because I, I actually like the traveler system you know it's not necessarily my favorite but like you know I like that they kind of reskinned it. Because it's cool. it's an interesting system. So very cool. All right. Well, there you go. I mean, as you can see, we're 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 playing this game. We're excited about other games. We're playing talking about Call of Cthulhu on Thursday. We're playing Pathfinder Two on Friday. Yep. Um, also Friday. There might be a Starfield. No, there. Well, I I'm off, so there might be a oh midday stream bonus stream. Oh gosh, because Paizo is supposed to announce what their two new playtest classes are going to be. Friday. Oh, oh, so you might be just uh, reactioning. Any bets? I might react. No, they they said that they've never been published in a Pathfinder product before. Interesting. Hmm. That's all they said, and I think they said that they're each three syllables, which doesn't really help anybody. And they released two bits of art, but like of like sketch art, like the Wayne Reynolds sketch art, but it's so close up you can't really tell what it is. So there's been a lot of speculation hmm. online. I cool. have no idea. Well, hopefully sword they follow the new uh, sword of C- yes. yes. That's it. Thank you. Uh, KC says landing. Ben is gear correct. Breaks, uh, landing gear, gear breaks once, and you rush back to the warm and base. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're no, you're right. Scum and villainy. Uh, yeah, that was that was a campaign. That, that was that was that was sci-fi. Yeah. Um. Anyways, all right, everybody. All right. Thanks for joining us. We will see you next time. We'll see you Thursday on nights of last call. Peace. Peace.